Let's call Richard. Hi, Hello. show. What's up? Um, I just got a phone call from Norman. Uh, saying he says that he wants to talk to me. Um, okay. At the lighthouse, but I don't. I don't want to go. I'll go I'm with you. Any... Are you sure? Yes. Uh. Flop called me yesterday and told me that Norman told him it's your time. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that means and why it's yours and not mine as well. Whose time? My time? Yours, yeah, you. I don't know what that means. But don't worry. Honey, I'm worried. I've got an Uno reverse card. Watch. Well, I took something off a suspect. It's a note that says, Congratulations, you have seven days to live. Dying has its benefits, lower taxes, less headaches, and a general sense of eternal peace and quiet. If, however, you wish to avoid dying in exactly seven business days, simply pass this note on to someone else, along with your fate, and the countdown will start over. Sincerely, your friends from the Heck Realm. <laughs> you want me to fall like Norman, a death email? You think that's going to work? <laughs> But I took it from someone, so yeah. Damn it. It's not an email either. It's but it's one of those. It's a... I got sent those on MSN. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and? <laughs> Did you forward them? <laughs> yes, every single one, and I'm not dead. <laughs> exactly, because you forwarded them. Okay, 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 okay. Me, me, me and Sandy, you, whenever you, whenever you're ready, okay. Uh, I am just documenting evidence, and I'll make my way there. Okay. Okay. Bye. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Chat. That's why we kept the note. We have a unit go check on the Miriam Turner overpass. Uh, just a little forward, and maybe a tiny bit to the left. Two mash way uh, and clear okay. all that. Uh, uh, just a look, a look. Th that'll do. Is that, is that good? I mean, ideally, if you could be just a little more to the left, you're not. You're way off center for the parking. I need cameras. <clears throat> Can we get cameras on these things? No, we don't have dash office. cams. Yeah, we have a potential. Why did they get uh, removed, officer? Off duty. Um, I, I'm not boy, quite sure. You go to... Funding. Uh, the Maybe. Vargo's torture room. You're gonna okay. show up like that? Yeah. Why not in uniform? He doesn't care about a uniform. Huh? Why would he... I don't want to... Listen. Listen, I don't like how much... How dark he is, okay? I don't like that. So I thought, you know... I have an idea. You... Are you gonna get changed? Yep. Please don't get something stupid. Please don't be stupid. Get something stupid. Get something stupid, please. All right. <laughs> Everything all right? I'm just making sure nobody's watching. Oh. Should I should I show up like this? No. This will let him know how loving I am. Look at my boxers. Yeah, I know. You showed me. <laughs> I don't think that. Yeah. No, let me no, just no, put no, them no. back on. All right, fine, fine. Oh, you, wait. I thought you put another outfit on. No, that was the outfit. What the hell? What? That was it. I thought you were getting changed. Yeah, but think of if I made it awkward, and he just couldn't look me in the eye. It's going to be awkward when you give him a note that says you're going to die in seven days. Well, I'd, I'd give it to you and then show you, but then it applies to you. God damn it. 
So listen, Mike, what if you... I what if I tell him, right, that I have a solution to the chicken man? Dude. In the form of this note that he can oh give to my. the chicken man. Man, I'm going to pay in <laughs> case of it before I get back. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> you look good in that uniform. Thank you. What if we. What if we try to restructure a deal, but have it be a deal nonetheless? What do you mean? Well, he's going to ask us to do something. Mm -hmm. And we need to tell him that a life for a life is just not very practical. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say here is maybe we try to argue that a life for a life is not very fitting for us. And what I mean by that is, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be able to live with myself in the event where I had to take someone's life to save someone else's. I and agree. at that point, I might as well be dead, right? Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, what incentive do I have to do that? If the alternative is me being dead, so, you should give us something a little more fitting. And, um... Yeah, we also you know, bring up... He's gonna say that we should have said this last time. Okay, Why maybe... Why we the deal last time? Because it, it, we were... It, it... Ugh, it's this car, and it's in white. How are you? I'm alive. Be careful, okay? Just... And then she wonders, you know? She wonders why no one likes her. Ugh! I'm alive. That... You know she murdered somebody? Who? Storm. Who'd she murder? I don't know, but she got first degree murder and she spent 30 years in prison. And she's claiming she was wrongfully convicted. Because apparently this person was choking in Burgershaw, so instead of calling EMS, she brought them to the graveyard and then tried to choke them and strangled them. And then it, it like it turned out that that person died from food poisoning. Doesn't stop the fact that trying to kill that person. What's her argument? The bad Samaritan law? Yep. Let's go. You want me to take the jet ski? Yeah, let's just swim. Ugh, the waves. <clears throat> Hello again. Hey. What do you want, Norman? You two forever together coming up here, aren't you? Mm. We're kind of... Kind of like a package deal, you know? Mm, careful on your wording there. What do you mean? Oh, deal. Oh. Uh, we are two peas in a pod. Right. How have you two been holding up since our last chat? Um. Pretty good. 
Terrible. Why is that, Matthew? <sighs> um, I can't quite put my finger on it. You know when consistently things just aren't what they should and everything is just slightly off center but like enough to make it an annoyance day in and day out that's how things have been i see what of you richard you said you were good yeah you know, doing a lot of planning. My family's alive, and that's all that matters. Do me a favor and speak up, Richard. Okay, if you want me to. Before I say what I need to say, do either of you have any questions or something you'd like to say to me? <clears throat> um, do you think I should? I'll leave that up to you. <clears throat> um, no, not yet. Um, maybe, maybe later in our conversation. Hmm. All right. And nothing of you, Richard. I, I mean, outside of what this is all about. I see. How long has it been since our last chat? Do either of you know? Not off the top of my head, no. No. It certainly has been quite a while. And the last we spoke, you both came to a decision. You both remember what that was, correct? Sure. Yeah. Good. Because I am coming to collect. You have a week. You decide. Do whatever it is you plan on doing. So long as the end result is in a death. And in a week, if you have not upheld your end of the deal, I pick. Okay. Can you, um... Explain the requirements again. In fact, you you don't have to, but Norman, I do have something for you. The requirements. Whoever you choose. It must be someone you know relatively well. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone you like. But when someone dies... 
There is a journey that happens when you see the life leave their body. And if you do not know what that is, if you don't know them, then it is not worth it. Would now be a very inappropriate time to give him the note. Yes. Yes, it would. No one what's stopping me from choosing you? You are certainly free to try. Oh, I see. It's because we have to kill the person, right? Correct. So it's not just choosing somebody, it's actually killing somebody. But why can't... Cause I'll be honest, I don't think I can kill somebody. So why can't I just choose them and then you do it? It could be paid for in blood. Isn't that why we're here? There are many facets. Death comes about. The death of a friendship, of a family, trust, what have you. Doesn't necessarily need to end in a person's life, but there will be blood. Norman, uh, it, <sighs> I'm going to try to explain this in the best way possible. I don't know that you could have chosen any other person outside of myself and Richard. <laughs> I don't even know if I should explain. Your ask of us is borderline impossible. And I know you're going to say anything's possible, but the reality is neither of us would be able to live with ourselves in the event where we had to kill someone to save someone else. And I don't mean that in a, we do this every day, we had to kill someone who... Th that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying here is, if neither of us can live with ourselves in the event where we have to kill someone, what purpose do we have with following through with this? If the alternative is death. I guess what I'm trying to say here, Norman, is can we switch things up? Make things maybe a little more accommodating for us. Is there anything you have in mind? Well, I, I just think, you know, um, given some recent events... And, and circumstances surrounding, you know, you and your situation, maybe we could be of use in other ways. I don't know. Word on the street is that Andy almost got attacked by the chicken man the other day, and who is there to save her? Because last I recall, it was me and Richard who pulled her away from that situation. Which, from my understanding, would mean that she was safe from the chicken man, and your deal with her is still on the table. The difference between us and her is that she is doing it on behalf of a lot of people, 
we're pretty much doing it on behalf of very few. That situation is much different than yours is. Also, the chicken has gone AWOL with all of that. Regardless, Miss Jones, nor any of her constituents, tried to kill me. That is why you two are here. We didn't try to kill you? Your son did. What? Flop partook in Bundy's and their family's attempt to kill me. How did you not know that? Um... But, you know, I don't really get the full details. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm a busy man, and um, and some. <clears throat> which, okay, maybe I was uh, like acutely aware. Maybe, I, I didn't know it was as direct as that. Norman. If we just give you a name or or bring somebody here. Negative. Can you kill them for us? You both are trying the easy way out. I have bad news. There isn't one. How many people you killed, Norman? Depends on when you're asking, when I was a man or now. Let's go when you were a man. Yeah. Did you have what? 54 victims? Correct. And then you died. And you got shot. Correct. And according to you, you then expired. And then took over your position that you have now. Right? That sound pretty good? Yes. And you walk around when I met you, pretending to be a lawyer. How many people you kill then? He's somewhere. Eight to ten, I forget. Same way you stab him? Usually. Shoot some of them, maybe? I think the only one that I actually shot was Matthew here. Yeah, what about now? How many people you kill? It's a very large number now. How many? Daily or... Sure. Hun hundreds of thousands of people die every day. No. Don't get a lawyer on me, nor me. How many people did you kill? people that you know 
know how many people have you killed? You. I suppose in personal dealings twenty or so. It's a pretty good number. How many of those did you stab? Eight to ten. Okay. And you did that yourself? Do you feel that I am not capable? I mean, that wasn't exactly the question. That is what is implied. Would you like a demonstration? N no, we're not asking for a demonstration. We're just asking for clarification. Yes. It was by my own hand. At least those eight to ten, anyway. The others, more of a uh, rotting from the inside out. Huh? Hmm. Why? What is that noise? Those eight to ten people, were they because of deals, or were they just because you wanted to? Because I wanted to. Well, hold on. Yeah, that didn't have to be... Let's clarify, because you can still want to as part of a deal. Did, that ha did any of those have any involvement with deals? No. That's interesting, Norman. Old habits die hard. So in all these deals, when someone else had die, you've never done it yourself? Why in the world would I make a deal if I could just do it myself? The answer is, because it's entertaining, I don't need to do it myself anymore. I certainly can, but there's no fun in that. So if we say no, and then a week comes by, what, you're going to come along and, and stab us all? Is that what's going to happen? Or are you going to get someone else who's got a deal to come do it? Oh, I implore you not to do it. Yes, you will find me on your doorstep, Richard. Now, when you say you, or me, in your case, are you talking about Norman Bones, or are you talking about death? Those things are one and the same now. Okay. So we've got a week. Got a week to choose somebody, a week to kill somebody. Correct. I really want to give it to him. Go on in. something for you what is that you want me to read this now 
Yeah. I hope he's broken. <laughs> what exactly is this? <laughs> well, um, I just thought that uh, it was not a coincidence that I received that after hearing about you calling in the favor on Richard. I think it was meant to be. I see. I suppose it is a coincidence. I don't know that I believe in coincidences. I mean, to an extent, yeah, but how often does something like that fall into your lap? So close to when something, you know, like this happens. And who did you receive it from? Oh, well, I stole it from someone who I arrested, but they didn't want it, I think. But I passed it on. It's now yours. I see. All right, well, both of you have your task. If there is any more questions, you are free to get a hold of me. And you know, should you not hold up your end of the bargain, it really will be till death do us part. What? what? Okay, can... it doesn't have to be that. Norman, we can be far more useful outside of killing someone. <laughs> you have your task, boys. Norman! Norman, how do we know you're going to end up or hold up your end of the deal? Norman. Norman. Hey, what if we get flopped to apologize? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm I'm sorry um it wasn't a J, but it, it, it was done against my will. The real person you want is Bundy. No? I don't think so. Why do you have to ask for clarifying questions? He said that, well, he started with the end result is death. And if you haven't up, you know, upheld your end of the deal, I pick. We could have given him a dead fucking bird. A dead bird. It's not going to work with this guy, man. What, what do you mean it's not going to work? It could have worked, but then you, you you did the equivalent of asking a professor when the, when the bell rings, hey, do we have homework? No. Okay. No, if you don't okay. ask, it's no. You, right. And what about if you bought this dead bird and you put it at its feet and he brought it back to life to peck our eyes out? What about then? Uh, well, I don't, th I don't know. I, I, I th that I don't know. I don't know. But, but I'd rather take those chances. I would much rather take those chances. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like that storm pulled out this boat, by the way. Why? Well, I don't know. She murdered someone. Can't we turn her in? Should we go to prison for that? Oh, you want to bet to Norman? Yeah. No. Why not? She murdered someone choking. Are we really gonna hand someone in here? No, no, not, not right. No. Come on then. 
What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know, but I have a... I have a theory. Well, well, what's, what's the theory? I don't think he can kill anybody. What makes you think that? He does all this... These deals for entertainment. I think it's entertainment because he can't... He can't do it anymore. He can't entertain himself anymore. I have to go ask him a question. I'll be back. Norman? I've got a question. What? What if it's someone you have a deal with or someone you care about? You think I care about anybody? Well, I think people come here with a purpose and, and you're that purpose and... I guess what I'm trying to say here is I'm certain you've promised people stuff that you then rely on other people to provide. And if that's the case, what happens in the event where, let's say, you promise someone protection. Let's say that was part of their deal, and that protection is provided by someone else. What if the, what if the thing we pick is that something else? If there is someone that has that sort of stipulation and you come to me with a name I will let you know if you need to skip past them okay but that was never part of the deal why is it that you can change the terms but we can't because you have no choice Matthew well, I... That's not true. What, what did you just do? It is true. Okay. If, if you say it's true, it must be Norman. I'm just saying that in the event where it is someone or something that you have a deal with if if we do it our end of the deal is held up you can't then just say yeah no unfortunately they don't qualify you didn't read the terms and conditions because there were none are you dumb think so you have your answer to the question do what you, do what you will with it <sighs> hey if you knew it was bundy why not bundy don't worry bundy is getting his just desserts ask him how his lungs are doing yeah. What did you just do? The ask a clarifying question. Oh, what Lord. question? Uh, hey, what if the person or thing we pick is something you care about? You responded with, "You think I care about anyone or anything?" Uh, and I said, "Well, yeah, if it's part of someone else's deal, you know." It, hypothetical let's say you offered someone protection and that form of protection is someone and we choose that someone to be a sacrifice you can no longer hold that part of the deal so how would that he, and then he said something like well you know approach me and i'll tell you if you have to skip that's not how the no that is not that, that was not the the terms that was not the terms at all What, what did you just do? You know what the problem is? Is that you think that he was willing to sign to some kind of contractual term. Well, he does not give a shit. Okay, well, let's work with that. Work with the fact that he doesn't give a shit? Or yeah. work with him? Okay. Uh, 
work with the fact that he doesn't give a shit. If he's not going to clarify, then we go with what we've got. Right? Do we know anyone that's been offered protection? Yep. Who's been offered protection? It's not a fair question. I'm, I'm curious. But I want to go smack him in the fucking face. Don't worry. He only has seven business days to live. Says who? I gave him no. a note. You told you you threatened death. It's complicated. The you threatened Norman. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. No, this is great. This is great. I did not threaten him. No, that is... Everything is fucking great right now. Everything. I did I not threaten, threaten him. Well, then what gave, happened? I gave him a note that I took from someone I arrested yesterday around the time you said Norman called you to say it's Richard's time. And the note pretty much says you have seven business days to live pretty much un unless you give this to someone else I... so you I... gave him a spam letter you think you think that just fell in my lap coincidentally at the roughly the same time you were told that richard was being called upon I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I've been an officer for nearly, I don't know, three years at this point, and that's never happened. You, Dad, get out of the water. I, I... You tell me. I don't know. Personally, I don't think asking clarifying questions and trying to reason with death is is going to get us anywhere. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't think either of you are, are killing anyone. If you want the truth. Okay, so what do we do? You tell me. Who are we killing? I say... One of two things. Psy Carter? I agree. No. Stop it. This is gonna sound terrible. Why can't it be a bird? Oh, damn it. He's not going to accept a bird. Why not? Because he doesn't Someone care you about... care about. I care I about that bird to... keeping Andy no, safe. you don't. Yes, I do. Can I suggest something else? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hold Noxie. On. No. What? Wait, wait, we have to protect Noxie. Oh, you mean Except... the bird you just got? Bolvar for... Uh, how you deal bird? with Norman is a bird called Smoke. No, it's Noxie. No, it's Smoke. Noxie's Andy? acting on their own terms. Yes, Andy. Wait, what? As far as I know, Andy's pr protecting Noxie, but... No, no it's Noxie. No, I know Noxie was there saving up from the thing. But it was, it's Smoke who's the one that supposed to be protecting that. We can solve this in one phone call. Okay, and what's that phone call? To Andy. Okay, fine. We're not, we're not doing it, we're not giving him a vote. Okay, can I suggest something? Hold on. Baldo, oh. Baldo has a bird. Right, can Andy, I call you is, your, a second? is your bird's oh. name Smoke or Noxie? smoke but i do take care of noxy damn it you were Hi. right richard now i was just i i thought it was I... the opposite oh, oh my god okay are you guys okay <sighs> no I no we're not you guys? we're at the lighthouse oh i'll be there soon is that okay, okay. or are you yeah. guys on space yeah no yeah. feel free to come okay okay oh, bye kind of okay bye bye Okay, you were right and I was wrong. So, okay. Noxie still helped Andy. What if we... 
you know why are you <laughs> what would you I'm rather just, it be I'm, I'm thinking i'm just let me think i, for a I have a suggestion well he has a suggestion let's listen to him what what is it okay there is one bird that i know we could probably sacrifice wow. if we were to hold on hold on Balto has one of Norman's birds. We have and... it. Bolvar okay. for dragon. Okay. For, for Bolvar for is it dragon? Bolvar. 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 Yes. Bolvar. Bolvar. We have Bolvar. If we were to do this, and we were to use a bird, because, you know, Dark, I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. I love you, but if you think that we have another suggestion other than a bird. And you think we're gonna go after a fucking person? You're wrong. Um, I say we go for Bolvar. He knows Bolvar. We know Bolvar. Honey, we're, I'm we're just aware. saying. You remember when I shot and pretended to have hit a crow and didn't? And he said, essentially, I would have felt it. Yeah. I don't know a better option. Someone. Someone. He said someone. He didn't say some boat or some. Actually, thing. he started with end result is a death. Okay. Well, right. Uh, I need. I need. Just give me a minute. How long has this been going on? How long have you been here? Uh. Probably an hour. Okay. I've been here for the good part of 10 minutes and I already want to lose my mind. Yeah, well, so, you know, I only just found out that you tried to kill Norman. When? What oh, do you mean? Oh, you mean, you mean the lighthouse thing? Yeah, yeah, no, we, we, yeah, yeah. I tried to buy 10 C4 from Javi from Seaside. Why? I wanted to blow that fucking lighthouse to smithereens. I wanted nothing left. Yes. I tried to go after Norman. Yes, I wanted him dead. Did I actually pull the trigger or do anything? No, I actually was told to sit outside of the property and do security while everyone else did everything. So, to be fair, I didn't do anything. Oh, have you explained that to Norman? Um, why? Does he think I tried to kill him? Yeah. Okay, let me go clarify that one. Hey! Oh! What? what? Well, you can't just walk away reaching for your waistline, pulling something that looks like a gun, and say, let me go oh, clarify. Now, yeah, you should go clarify. Okay. You should go I'm clarify. Gonna... Now! I'm going to clarify. And I'm coming with you before you say something dumb. Balto's here. I didn't know he was here. Oh, here. We'll wait for him to come back. Do we have any plan with this? Yeah, uh, it wasn't me, by the way. Please don't do this. Okay, you think pleading is gonna help if I plead? He's just gonna want more. Let's go speak to Richard. Okay, fine. We, we, I, I well, he made this Norman. clear. He said, this is all happening because you tried to kill him. Because I tried to kill him? Yes, his words. Wow, that's adorable. There's nothing he, cute about that. He has no idea what my involvement was, Dad, and you don't either. Okay. I sat outside of this property in a car while everyone else did all the dumb shit. Okay, mister, I tried to buy 10 C4 from Seaside. Damn fucking right, I was going to. And you know what? I didn't do it because I was told, actually, you know what? We can't get that. Where, where's Dark? Where is Dark? I don't know. Die, remember I said that everything in my life is going to die? Yeah. Yeah. Good to see ya. Would you like a cup of tea, Walmart? 
Shut up, die. What did he say? Do you want a cup of tea to warm up or something? Oh, wait, actually, yeah. Boat are still over there. Yeah. You know, I was thinking Cindy. What do we come up with? I mean, I'm firm on Bolvar. If not Bolvar, why not Cindy Tipton? I mean, I can think of a few names. Like who? I mean, at one point, I probably would have said Steam, but he's a cop now. Um, Psych like Harder. Yeah, size uh, of Miss Burn. Ooh, Burn would be good. Would you shut up? What do you mean, shut up? She murdered We're not Malkador. Killing anybody. Wait. Members of Hydra? That's a good one. Arnie would be a good one. Won't be able to U-turn and Nas his way out of this one. Hmm. Okay, you want us to be quiet. Do you have an idea? Yeah. You're not going to like it, though. It can't be you. No. Or me. I'm going to ask you both a few questions, okay? Okay. Flop, you read... Norman's journal, right? Yeah, you studied it. Mm -hmm. The pronoun that he keep using. Do you remember? Yeah. He wasn't saying me. He was saying we. Several times, you saying we. We need to watch the blood trip. We need to kill these people. Right? Why? Why was he doing that? We don't know. Right? We, we don't know. Still. We might find out in a few days. Right? But... We've got five days till this meeting happens. Five days till we get information. That means oh, we whoa, have two. Whoa, whoa. A week. No, That's seven five days. days until m the summit happens. The meeting. The what? The one that I'm, the one I I'm organizing. That one. Oh, okay. Okay. So that means okay. after that, we have two days. Don't call it that. It's not long enough. It's not long enough to get all that information together and do something. Please. What, remember the other day with this whole situation with Storm? Now, just forget it was Storm for a minute. I said something. And now I feel a little bit hypocritical. It, uh, you said a lot of things. You know, why does it matter that she did what she did? It, she's still a person. It, uh, it, it, a million different things. She's emotional. She's... Uh, I don't fucking know. You, you said a million things about her. Yeah, I did. And you want me to point out the one thing that you're looking for? No, okay, fair enough. My point is, when I was talking about Storm, I was upset at you guys being angry at her for the decisions she made. And she made those decisions 
for reasons that were important to her, right? Right. And I was I just wanted you guys to treat it like a human being. But I'm I'm not doing the same with Norman. I want to go down there and talk to him like a person. Not like a thing. But maybe... Maybe try and figure out why. Why he's doing all this. Not just because of... I'm not going to ask him that. He's just going to be like, because I can. Do you want me to piss him off? No, no, no. Are you sure? Are you so upset, Norman? Is it because I was the one who almost got away? No. No. Stop it. Sorry. I'm. I'll, I'm just gonna go down there now. I'm gonna ask him. He said we can ask him questions. So I'm gonna do exactly that, and I'm gonna bring him a nice cup of tea. I'm gonna apologize. Apologize for you, what? I'm gonna tell you two things real quick. If you show any emotional remorse toward him, he's going to use that against you. And number two, uh, you're right. I don't like your idea. Because your idea involves trying to find answers while your life is on the line. There's plenty of time to find these answers. I don't think the week where you're being threatened to be killed, if you don't kill somebody, is exactly a great avenue of, of choice to, to go and reason with the guy. What else should I do? It? After I'm dead? I think we should snap a bird's neck in half and go hand it to him. That's honestly what I think. Right. You can walk away from this, okay? Listen, but you two get you... your bird plan down, and I'll I'll try and figure something else out, okay? Right? Okay. I also need to go talk to Norman real quick, and apparently go apologize for why I put us all in this mess. Apparently, because he doesn't know my my involvement to the day that we try killing him. He does know. Well, you just answered it, flop. What do you mean? You said uh, we tr on the day we tried killing him. Yeah, I say we. I was there, but I wasn't involved. Oh. He wasn't was. The That's property. the reason I had to go to the lighthouse and make this deal in the first place. But what if he's misunderstood? I think he's misunderstood. I don't think he realizes how minimal my involvement was. Hey, da, 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 you're not a good person for this, okay? I've been talking to this guy a lot longer than you think, Dad. Okay. You may think I'm not a good person. Did it go well? Did it go well? They've all gone well, except for the one time you pulled a knife on me. Did he say Why you like this? You know Stop what, Flop? I agree with him. I told you to stay away from him the moment you brought his name up. Yeah, and that was after I had my conversations with him. I, I didn't tell you guys initially. Why not? Because I didn't know how you guys were going to react, and I knew that you were a victim. What? And we would have told you to stay away. Yeah, and I also would have told you not to make a deal with death, but you guys did that behind my back, and look where we are. Because you were oh, going to die. I... Our options are fairly gonna... limited. Flop okay. dies if you don't do this. What do you think we're going to do? I think you're going to make the right choice, but I also think that you going to just go willy-nilly speak to Norman would have been a fucking horrible idea. And you know what? Here we are. I could have helped you with that one too. I think we both made mistakes here. And you know what? I think fighting over this isn't going to get us anywhere. Would you, you agree with that it. or disagree? I started it. You, you started, started it. it. You tried to kill him. You, I didn't try killing him. You tried making a deal with death. And you know what? You succeeded. And you know what? I failed. So congratulations. Hey, now what you if have a way to kill someone. What if we're such a nuisance? He just doesn't want us around. If he can get us out of the equation, holy shit. A past victim, a guy that needs to kill someone, and me, holy crap. Three birds, no pun intended, with one stone. He's exactly going to go for that. Clear was the definition of a nuisance, and look what happened. Okay, fair game. You're right. You're right. Why is there a police car here? Who's 330? Know. It's Peach. No. Oh, for God's sake. No. Get her out no. of here. Oh my no. god. No. Wait, 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 hold on. If she doesn't have keys, don't don't worry. If she doesn't have keys. Good. Pretend you don't see her. Okay. Pretend you don't see her. I'm just gonna tell her to go, okay? 
I'm gonna go talk to Norman. Oh, Andy's here. Well, she's calling. Oh, Hello. Just, yeah. Hi, I can't get in because I <laughs> don't have keys. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, is, are you in a separate car from Peach? Yes, I am. Okay, oh, all right. The other we car. need. Uh, can you guys open the door? Oh my. <laughs> honey, I have an idea. No. Oh, I can just no. Turn around. No, honey, come on, you. No, no. Honey. <laughs> I'm not your honey, Rhodes. Honey! Who? No, it's Peach! Brush Why it. not? Peach, stop it! Yeah, it's me. Am I alive? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. How can you dress like um, Alton John? He's my idol. Oh, okay, okay. What are you doing here? Oh, I bet you got ocean dump. Oh. Oh, oh. Apologies. Apo no. Um, <clears throat> let me just... Um, I'm fine, Pete. Here we go. Oh, is that your husband? Yep, that's me. What's going on here? It's things that you probably shouldn't be involved with, Pete. I'll be honest. Is it because I'm a woman? <laughs> no, Peach. Okay, that took you way too long to answer that question. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. Huh? Oh, you're, you're, you're in the way. way. You're okay, in the okay, way. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Is the party over? What party? Um, uh, I thought this was an ocean dump party. Yeah, you're the main guest. Get in. Oh, okay, okay. Don't get to the picture. Honey, huh? she's, no. she's willing. What? No, you, Pete, listen. Oh, yeah, I can pull Go up to reasons. Peach, do you want to be a sacrifice? A sacrifice? Yeah, you I'm a reborn well. again virgin. Oh, honey, you haven't been a virgin in a long time. Nah. Honey. No, no, Peach, listen. This is vote. This is. I don't know how to explain this to you. Someone Peach, have you then. ever died before? Me? Yeah. Um. Has your heart almost. ever stopped? Oh, my car stops running all the time. No, you. you have your, your heart, not your car, your heart. Um, yeah. How was it? Um, well, I was pretty. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's cool? Well, yeah, because, you know, it's like seeing the light. What do you mean? Every time I get shot on duty, seeing I see the light. Seeing the Okay? I think about, oh, okay, okay, maybe I should go towards it. But then the flipping EMS comes and rescue me, so it's like, ugh. Oh, shucks, right? Yeah. Hmm. Peach, listen. Why don't you go back to... Come on in and... Uh, go back to China? Can... You can't say that. What's wrong with you, <laughs> dog? No. That's not what he was going to say, Peach. Huh? I was going to say... Side now. You know how crazy that is? It's almost like you don't need keys to this place to get on the property. That's impressive, actually. Thank you. Peach, go back on duty, okay? Take your nine and one course and do some training, okay? And then, and then I'll catch up with you once I'm finished making deals with Dev. Does that sound good? And making Peach, deals with if the devil? No, not yes. the devil. No, yeah. Close enough. Uh -huh. It's easy to explain. Is, it, is Pred back there? Where's Pred? No, Pred's not here. No, we care. He's not allowed here. We care about him. We care about you too, Pete, so that's why you're not allowed here. Okay? Wait, I'm here because you don't care about me? No, 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 Andy, no. That's, that's not, that's not no. what we meant. That, that's not. Oh, Peach, are, are you sure you don't want to come in? You're causing problems, Pete. Peach, you are I can't come in. What? My commander gets to come in and I can't. Because they don't care about me, Peach. Oh. Probably because okay. I'm a woman. Oh, no. Nah. No, well, Peach, no. Peach, leave. Oh, leave, Peach. Uh, uh, go now, Peach. Okay. And don't oh, come back. Your... Don't okay, come okay. back. Oh my God, oh, this yeah. is like that scene in the movie with the dog. <laughs> leave, Peach. Huh?
bitch, don't come back. Okay. No, leave. Okay. All right. Peach, okay. go. Where's she going? She's gonna spy from the hill. Andy, we have seven days to kill someone. Whoa. Yep. Stop it. I'm opening it. I'm open. I've got it. I've got it. No, I've wait, got wait, 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 it. Wait. You got I got it. I got it. Uh, no, there got it. it is. I got Hey, I've got it. Hey. Okay. Fine, you got it. Great. Okay. Fine. I got it. No, you, you get it. You get it. You get it. Okay. All right. Okay, All right. I got it. Hey. I've got do it. Do you have any idea how long you're going to take doing this? Oh my god, that's scary. actually pretty good. <laughs> that, was, really good. that was that was that so was okay. I got this. <laughs> you got it. Okay. How you doing, Andy? Uh, I'm okay, actually. You are. Okay. Yeah, for the first time in a while. <coughs> <clears throat> Not that I'm bragging. How are you guys doing? Terrible. Yeah. Awful. I gave yeah, him the equivalent so of. Oh, also, if Pez sees me here, he's probably going to shoot me. Okay, what? we'll shoot him and we'll turn him in. Great. Oh, I shot him Why first. Why would Pez... You shot Pez? Why? Yes, I gunned him down in cold blood. Why? Because, because Lilith got hurt by the chicken man, got a finger cut off. We started screaming on the highway. We are trying to transport somebody. We are not interfering. We are just trying to pass. We are trying to get someone to the hospital. It was gravely injured. Uh, he laughed hysterically. He told us to fuck off. Then attempted to pit our vehicle and laughed even harder at us crashing. Trying to get her there. Oh, deserved. Yeah. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Girl, you're living by my motto. Hell yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. So, yeah, okay. you interfere with my loved ones in times like these. <laughs> if I can do something about you, then I will. Oh, <laughs> Storm yeah. just texted me. Why is she here? I don't like her. I want Andy off the property. She shot Who Pez asked? and he nearly died. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Hey. Uh. Deserved. According to what she's saying about Pez. Right? Where's Flop? He went to the lighthouse. God damn it. Peach! Uh, yeah, I know it's you, Peach. What's up? I'm gonna yell at your kid, Matt. I'm. I'm Whatever I'm, you I'm do, do not take a note from Norman. What? Don't take a note from Norman. I didn't take a note from. I'm not even at okay, Norman you, right now. Okay, good. You're you not allowed to take a note from Norman. Why are you? Why are then you, you'll have I'm, seven right business days. Okay, good. What? I'm. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were at the lighthouse. How'd you hear me from the staircase? Hey, you get over here, Flop. What? Hey, I'm about to yell at you in front of your parents. Why? How fucking dumb are you? Bryce told me what you think your plan is. You are dumb, Flop. How dumb is he? What the plan? The actual dumbest. Yeah, what plan, I'm gonna Flop? I'm going to work with the chicken man to get rid of Norman. No, you're fucking not. I'm sorry. You actually going to take Bryce's word over my word? The guy that twists everything so that it, it, it's it's in his favor so everyone oh, else says stuff? What your words? Fine. He's a, okay. I have Truthfully? the mic right now. I want to point that out. I have the mic uh, pointing at okay. me. Okay. Okay, okay. You go ahead. Uh-huh. Now it's toward me. Yeah. Now oh now gosh. it's my Can turn. Did you do that? I just did it. Oh my and god. So my parents are gonna find this out too. Uh because I haven't told them. However, what what are you doing? <gasps> Why? Can he do that? Why? You can't do that. Just did. We're having an open discussion right now, Dad. You can't do this. Power, power moves. Jesus Christ. Okay. What, what did right. you just do? Listen. Yeah, you know what? I did do something that I was probably going to regret. Uh, I contacted the chicken man. To say? Yeah, I said that. Yeah. I did contact him. And I contacted him and asked him if we could talk. And that was the extent of it, and that was the end of it. He doesn't talk, Flop! No! 
Shit! I know. I know he doesn't talk any. Wait. I know he doesn't talk. Hold on. What? What if we get the chicken man in cuffs? Okay. That's then not gonna work. Hear me out. Flop. Shut I'm up. Gonna... Shut up. It's... That's Flop, not gonna work. I will ground you. Shut up. I'm what if? Grounded. What if we cuff the chicken man? Right. He's only got a hammer, typically. Okay. M maybe we have to shoot him a bunch of... Who knows? We get him in some vulnerable... Maybe we set him on fire, like Noxie. Okay? We do something. We get him in a vulnerable position. Then we bring the chicken man, still alive, to Norman. And then... Norman decides... That he dies. Norman is death. Uh oh. That doesn't anyway. sound good, Andy. What? This plane doesn't work. Why? Do you guys want the bomb? Oh no, keep going. Go ahead. Wait, do you have a bomb too? Oh yeah, I'm gonna drop the bomb, but I'm gonna drop it when it's oh. Oh, spicy as peak. Ooh, okay. girl, ahead, spill Flop. the tea. <laughs> Did you hear what Flop said? Flop literally said, Oh, you have a bomb too. <laughs> are you carrying a bomb? Who are you caving the lighthouse in on? Well, Bob, anyway, not what? again. I didn't say I was buying anything yet. We don't have to worry about that. We're not, we're not going to worry about that. I just cleared things up with Norman. Okay. That's been dealt with. You cleared things up with Oh, Norman? wait. So he doesn't what, hate what us did anymore? did you just do? No, he still hates you. Why? Because you were his victim. I told him flat out. I'm going to, I'm, I'm circling back to the fucking chicken man in a minute. But I told him I was aware I was aware of the plan that day. I'm aware that people were gonna do things to him. I'm well aware of the 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 setup, and I was well aware that there were multiple people that were gonna be involved in his attack. I told him that I was off the property and that I had actual no hands-on involvement in what happened that day. And he said it's been noted. And I said thank you. And then he ended it with, and if you think it's gonna change anything, you're wrong. So, if so anything, we're back at square one. Useless. Yes, you're welcome. That's not I a fucking bot. Yeah, you bombed. You told you, me but, to do you, this. Oh that doesn't God. sound like things are clear now. Okay, no. Andy, you're up. You're shut up, Flop. Hold on. Shut up. I, I haven't circled back Jesus to Chicken Man yet. Back, yeah. Okay. Jesus, thank you. I Andy listens to me. Why don't you guys listen to me? Gosh. Yes, I contacted the Chicken Man. My intention to contact the Chicken Man Hello? was to try uh, and get sorry, Flop. One sec. Forehead. Are you busy? Yeah. So no. anyone have a bandage? Do you have an RPG? Yes, he has an um, RPG. I can tell you he has an RPG. Here's a. Bandage. Well, you see, well, you see, I gave you my last one, and I had another one after that, but I don't know what happened to that. That's a mask. Fuck. What? Okay. What do you need right. it for? Uh, oh, no, no, that, no, no. That's that's don't, mask. don't worry about it. Don't worry that's about it. We want grenades. Grenade. Oh, hey, y'all think we could reach the lighthouse from here with a grenade? No, no, no. It's too far. This Sorry. This is a mask. All right, never All right, mind. Well, right, well, if I need something, I'll let you know, forehead. All right, I got All deagles. Right. Oh, deagles. Oh, they hurt. You're right. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. You think they'll actually? I'll call you back for it. I'll call you back. All right. All right. All right. All right. You sound just as bad as me. So what was your plan? Yeah. Okay. Chicken man plan. Go. Okay. I, it wasn't necessarily a plan, but when I found out, <laughs> that's always a good start. Yeah. No. Um, when I found out that dark, he wanted you to turn in, I panicked and said, I'd like to try and avoid that conversation if possible at the lighthouse. And I contacted the, the, the chicken man to ask him a question. I wanted to know why he was afraid to cross the bridge and I wanted to know some other stuff and he never got back to me. So fucker, you asked him why chickens cross the road. Um, no, I wasn't going to ask him why I, I want to know why they don't cross the road. That's what I want to know. I want to know why the chicken didn't cross the road, but it never happened. And when I told this to Bryce, he's like, I don't care, Flop. It doesn't sound like a good idea. And then he didn't hear a word I said, and he told you something completely different. Did I contact him? Yes. Was I going to talk to him? I was going to try to. Did it happen? No, it didn't happen. And if it was even going to happen at this point, it wouldn't even matter. So the plan is null and void. We're all good. So you're I'm not stop dying. Being besties with the chicken man. Besties with the chicken man. I've been besties with this fool for years too. No, the... we're not besties with him. He is an enemy. What? Are you sure? How are you wanting that? 
What? Yes, I'm fucking sure. What? Are, Andy, what was the last I time you missed that? Fingers say. What was it? I'm what fucking was, sure. Okay. What? Wow. That's that's low. What was the last time you had a conversation with a chicken man? The other day. This is what I'm saying. You talk to him more than I do. How am I mean I'm here? friends with him. I'm not friends with him either. I'm not trying to be. Okay, and I'm not trying to be friends with him either. So, what? What do you want me to so do? He did offer me up pets when I shot him. So I was oh him. my god. Okay, we can circle back to this. Okay. So is okay. this like the same pet, like the policeman Pez? Mm -hmm. And you're saying yeah. you were bringing someone to the hospital and he was pitting you? Yep. I want and laughing. Say. Yep. I turned myself make... into snow afterwards. Would you like to make an IA complaint? Yeah, I actually very much would. Okay. We'll talk after. Um, okay. A couple bombs. That night was insanity. Uh, pretty much, you know, the same chaos. Lilith ends up being the one taken and uh, got her finger cut off. Chicken man uh, dared to come to this property. He crossed the bridge. He came to the gate. He left her there. Um, we drive her back. Pez is an idiot. I'm raging the entire time. Edward's trying to calm me down. Get her to the hospital. She's all right, but missing her ring finger, which hurts even more now that she's like literally about to get married. Um, <laughs> chicken man then texts me and says, uh, I have, hold on. Dramatic pause. Hi, Ed. <sighs> I'm... I am in a conversation at the lighthouse currently. Do not mention me. That's the last thing I need is hearing Ed I don't outside think I the can property. Right now, Ed. Can I come with you tomorrow? Is that okay? I'm sorry. Tomorrow, I promise. I'll bring so, Matt, are you and Ed like okay. a, a thing? Fuck off. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. He said he was going to be Flop's stepdaddy. Oh yeah, he. Well, oh God. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he says I have Cody for you, but you have to come quick. Uh, honestly, if anybody in the entire world, including the Chicken Man, offered him up to me on a silver platter in that moment, I would have said yes. I was seeing red. I come up here, he <laughs> ends up bashing in the heads of all the cops that were standing around, and I shot him down. I left. Uh, once I got a call from Pez being like, is this how badly you want the keys to the lighthouse back? And I was like, motherfucker, there's this thing called water around it that makes it inconsequential whether I have keys or not. And for some reason, he thought I was about the keys. Even though I said, motherfucker, if you ever stand in the way of me saving the life of one of my members ever fucking again, I will burn down everything you care about. And somehow this motherfucker didn't get the message, but say love you. Uh, so once I knew he was, you know, not dead, I went and turned myself into snow. I had already given the gun to Davenport. Um, anyway, uh, leave that. So, you know, revelation, chicken man can come here. <clears throat> Long story short, I ended up in purgatory. What? And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, Hold on. I'm, what, 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 what's purgatory? Mm -hmm. What's purgatory? Yeah. Oh, honey. Someone explain. Oh, God. Per is it? It's like, it's like in between. Place. It's like a waiting room. Yeah. Oh, like before in a doctor's you, office. You, before you die, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like you're oh, not yeah. moving on, but you're also not alive. But you're also not, you know, eternally dead. It's the in-between. Okay. In Picture like the Upside Down. If you watch Stranger Things. I have! In Dark like to do that. Stranger yeah, Things so is picture really like great. the Upside Down. So, you know, I've been on my adventures with Noxie and whatnot, and I couldn't understand what Noxie was trying to show me. It turns out it was purgatory, and turns out Noxie used me as bait. Two, drum roll. I refuse to say this without a drum roll. <clears throat> the chicken man is now stuck in purgatory. What? Yeah, he's locked in there for the moment because Norman loves to, you know, give me stipulations. Oh God, what are those stipulations? Good news. It's just that. It's just you know. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Great news. It, yes, it is, but it seems temporary. Surely at some point, he's no longer in a waiting room and he's done waiting. That is true. Do you think he asked think... Norman for Pryo? Hmm. That's a possibility. 
But I can tell you something that needs to stay between us or four. Mm -hmm. Like, literally to nobody else, please. And if okay. you are inclined to tell somebody else anyway, please tell me now. Uh, no. Uh, th nope. There is no one. Any people out too, uh, or right here? Okay, I'm definitely not mentioning the support phone con. Uh, stop saying it. Stop calling it there. Sorry. What do you want me to call it? It's BoneCon. We can come back to the name. The Council of Bones. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Like the Cobb. for him. God damn it. <laughs> Immediately ruined. Right. As in corn on that. Okay. Um. Through these series of events, because the chicken man was part of my deal with Norman. Why? Um, and what he is that was noise? To uphold his end of the deal. Uh, he offered me to be released from mine entirely. Hold on. You're okay? Hold on. Wait. Oh. Hold on. Wait. What does he actually mean by that, though? means he wasn't able to uphold his end so um he offered a release okay but hear me out we're talking about someone who likes to be very vague what does being released actually entail it meant that i would no longer have a deal with norman bones at all okay and do you know who doesn't have a deal with norman bones hmm. probably dead people anymore yeah, he would not kill me are you sure he was one of the driving forces to make sure that I made it out of purgatory. If he wanted me to stay dead, he would have just kept me there. I had an idea. Is it a good one this time? What? No. No, it's not a good one. <laughs> okay. But I do still have a deal. But what do you mean you have a deal? And another <sighs> one. Well, since the entirety of the deal included my group being protected from both the Chicken Man and Norman, he offered me an out, and I said, if I have an out, will they still be protected from you? And the answer was, I am. But they wouldn't be. So well, what's, she, what's she deal now? Same one, but doesn't include Chicken Man anymore. I kept mine, but mine is not, you know, go kill people, so I'm fine with it. Well, ours is... And that just gave me the idea. Norman voided on Andy's deal here because. Give me the reason again. Why couldn't he uphold his end of the boat? It's because the Chicken Man was was not an option anymore, well, he's, right? Yeah, he's like a non-factor now. And because you know he promised me protection from him, and I quite literally ended up kind of dead from him. No, I don't like this. Yeah, right. no, it's not that I don't deal. like this. Tell you, that now. So, you cannot listen, sacrifice no, yourself. No, no. listen. Oh. No, it's not that simple. Okay. It's not that simple. We made a deal that us three would be okay if we sacrifice somebody else, right? If we sacrifice someone. What about if you sacrifice me? No. No, but listen. Absolutely not. You you kill me. And he can't uphold his end of the bargain anymore. Because one of us three is mm -mm. dead. Hold there's on. Reason, wait, wait. Are you saying... Work. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't like this, but I'm just trying to hear you out. Are you saying you would then be in purgatory and at that point... That's not a guarantee. Oh, God. No, then no. Okay, absolutely he not. No. his end of the bargain no, 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 and he has to bring void. me back. It doesn't void. No. Because, no, no, no. Hold on. I'll tell you exactly why this won't work. Because if you kill someone, you are protected. If you don't kill someone, you're being killed. If you go and offer yourself up, that is to Norman, uh, just another way of saying, I couldn't hold up my end of the no, deal. No, and he's going to kill you. you two kill me. No. Would he one of you two specify that me. it has to be someone else? You know, he didn't. But but Richard here had to be the, the person at the end of class raising his hand. Do we have homework? You should have just stayed silent. I mean, did you guys add stipulations to He you? said, when we got there today, he said the end result is a death. And you know what I was thinking? There's a lot of things that could die today. A worm in the ground, a bird in the sky, a fish in the sea. But no, 
No, he had to clarify and he said, whoever must be someone you know well. Listen, Norman typically, from my understanding, uh, is a wants, bitch. I hate him. Wants I to hate approve, him. Uh, give the okay on whoever you choose. Who is that? Because I once asked him, hey, if somebody dragged my ass to the lighthouse and tried to murk me, would you do anything about it? Because, you know, Who we have a deal that benefits you. Who the fuck is that? I'm sorry. Does anyone know who this is? It's uh -uh. Uh, Tinkerman. What, what, That's Tinkerman? Name? It is oh. Tinkerman. He had, a, he had a mask on before. I was very confused. Okay. He was... Sorry. <clears throat> hey. Everything okay? No. Everything is fucking great. It's, it's uh, fucking atrocious. No, it's Amazing. great. Everything's fine. It's wonderful. I'm okay. It... Oh, this you doing, Pond? Uh, awful as well. So yeah. You look Why? cool though. Why are you Thank doing you. awful? Because Bloom got fired. Oh. He did? Mm, yeah. That's... a complicated situation. Yeah, you're telling me. Well... Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna spill details but there was there was reasons and, yeah, and, and for I what have, it's uh, worth more I information on those reasons to what talk to Fred about today like that'll clear his name or that'll show that it was complete uh, malicious uh from the prosecution yeah huh <laughs> oh sorry i'm listening to this as the person who knows what he did I'm also confused. Are you saying that the people who fired him are malicious or the people who are trying to prosecute him are malicious? The prosecution. Yeah, but in terms of chart, I don't think his firing had any... I don't think the case had any... No, no, bit. his firing had to do with people not believing him. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But again, I have opinions. I've told Fred and Jenny this and to myself by being respectful of Man's decision. Doesn't mean I'm having a good time with it. Right. Yeah, but, well, you're going about it the right way, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, um, I agree. Well, uh... I, I was <clears> just <throat> checking in. I saw the GPS is here. Just making sure you're okay. Just no man, what do you know about you know, the lighthouse? What don't I know about the lighthouse? She's, I think she's pretty clued in, so. Well, what's your deal? My deal? Mm-hmm. Do you quite, do you mean literally, or do you mean, uh, what do I know? But, well, what's your deal with Norman? If you're My clued in. Yeah, sure, I have a deal with Norman Bones, just to protect Bloom. Any My deal is I sacrifice myself and, uh, Bloom live. Huh? I mean, if the time comes where Bloom yeah, if the might... time ever came, but if Bloom ever got hurt to the point where he would die, the agreement was that no one wants to life of an innocent. I refuse to give him another one except my own. I'm not killing an innocent person. Was that the original deal, or did that change at some point? No, that was the original deal. I went to Norman for it. I made it at the time that Michael Simone was threatening his life. Now it's certainly not going to shoot. So. I've never heard of him offering a deal like that. Why wouldn't he just kill you then and there? Well, then she wouldn't Doesn't be able like to... Norman yeah. to be like, okay, deal. And just, you know, why would he draw it out? Well, why wouldn't he? Because Norman because the deal doesn't only seem comes like... In... Like, Someone who... action, if Bloom is hurt severely or, you know, dead. How does that benefit Norman? I think the way that the deal is written and the way that it's benefiting Norman is that regardless of the outcome, he gets what he wants. No. He gets alive. Okay, Norman... but, but he... Okay. 
unless mm -hmm. he had a deal with Bloom, which I imagine he would given the circumstances, why else would there be a deal for someone to sacrifice themselves for Bloom, right? Uh, it, no, it, the deal was made. Okay, my deal was made when Michael Simone was trying to kill Blue. Okay. Because of my actions, so I went to Norman desperate to protect Bloom because of my stupidity. But how would he protect Bloom oh. from Michael? Because my life would be traded for Bloom's. Okay. Which that in time would probably kill Bloom as much because Bloom has told me as much that he can't live without me, so. That's so. a bad deal. Well, when you're in... When... <clears throat> go ahead. When you're in no, there and your options are limited and you feel there's no other option... That's yeah. what happened to me. He told me you make a deal or die, so... Made a deal. That's a How's... bad deal to make, though, because g wouldn't Michael just go after him again? Bloom shows up again, and then you're both dead for nothing. Yeah, well, when you're a desperate woman who has been through a lot, is there anything I could think to do to? I'm saying it's not noble or anything like that. It's worked out so far. I'm just. I didn't know Norman would accept a deal. Unless he was the one who sort of initiated it. Uh, I think I was the first to ever go to him and ask him from what he's told me. Well, I was the first person he shot many years ago. I, um... I talked him down. Uh, a fair bit. And, uh, had the opportunity to run. And, uh... And then I got shot. Yeah, I think I'm the only one he shot. I just... <sighs> Who's this person? Uh, Tinkerman. Oh. You, you, you just said that like you know what Tinkerman's here for. I mean, Tinkerman's been obsessed with Nolan for a while. Doesn't surprise me. Oh, that's pretty good. metal. Yeah, that's great. <sighs> oh, I, I, will, uh... I do not no, like what's this. Up? <laughs> I don't. I don't like being here. I don't like Norman. Just go somewhere else and talk. Yeah, no, go. no, Norman no. It's was gonna... very handy last night when Cy and Lizzie turned up here with a gun to shoot me. He was very uh, kind. Huh. Do you think oh, they Cy have and a Lizzie deal? Lizzie turned up here with a. Uh, uh, <laughs> they might soon. Because apparently they know that you can go make a deal and someone told them that you can get immortality from Norman, which is ridiculous, but they basically said that. <laughs> what? That, that sounds like something yeah. I would believe. So now, so now they want to go make a deal. Because, yeah. And actually, it might get rid of them. So maybe, I don't know. I mean, I already... Dad... I'm just saying. Si si if, I, I if said Lizzie we shows, Cy, if Lizzie sh it goes missing... It wasn't me. Wouldn't blame you. I suggested Sai. I mean, no. Why Stop not? So, we're not killing anybody. Well, there needs to be a better option, and I think that Sai or Lizzie are two great options. So, give me one second. I'm just gonna... Who I'm just told gonna them that you phone. will get granted eternal life? No, but whoever it was might be That sounds like small. someone who knocks on your door and hands you a pamphlet. Oh, d hold up. Turning him in? Don't, don't be laughing. I handed him a note today. He's got seven days to live. Business days, by the way. Probably right. doesn't include weekends. Does that work if he's not technically alive? Well, I mean... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean I, to burst your I mind. already partially forgot what the note said, so... Right. But he knows. He took it. Yeah. He took it. Got his ass. Yep, sure did. Maybe I should do another one. By reading this, you agree to break the terms of... Damn. I'm gonna get legal on him. Hold on. While I have a bunch of very intelligent people here, 
my meeting, not BoneCon 2022. The Cobb. Is going to be on November 2nd, but okay. I need a good time. Yeah, I need a time, please. Yeah. Set up. That will be good for as many possible people as possible. I, I can accommodate most assume that Like 7 p.m. our time phone. Like after that. Talk about the prior storm or the next uh, one? The, the next one, right? Huh? Like I don't know. Maybe five hours, five six hours from now. Would that be good? What times are you in? Mm. We're in British summertime back home. Right. Okay. Hear me out. That, that's like. Does yes, everyone know that UT, UTC time? What's a UTC? Oh my god. I know I mean, UTZ, ESC. that's a great snack company. They make the best uh, sour cream and onion chips. They they do. Oh. Give me EST. It's funny because ESG. I I don't I want okay, listen. It's, PM. it's us. If you did it at the uh, 2 EST. No, it is oh, how many Tell me how many hours after is. tsunami. Doug, give me the time that you want it and I can literally tell you it in ESC. Like what about if we did uh, like Skip. nine nine p.m. for us? Phone like you said four p.m. Two what? hours after tsunami. Mm -hmm. Yep, that'll work. Would that work for like a lot of people though? Um, uh, we can yes. if you did it. Oh, weekend. No, it's on it's, a Tuesday. It's on a Tuesday. Wait, no, it's on a Wednesday. Wednesday. On a Tuesday. Oh. That's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> I will die. <sighs> but I will be there. What time is it back home for you, Wendy? Who? But I'm a DJ. Uh huh. No, you need to sort that out. I, can't... <laughs> I go to bed at like 9 a.m., man, please. Oh my god. What do you mean? Me too. It's 10.30. What do you mean? Okay, so what are we going to do there? Realistically, we show up and we all have a circle jerk of how we have deals. Then what? Uh, no. No. I don't like that terminology. No, you you, you with, use, use something else. We okay. are presenting information. There girls there too. I have a deal. I have a deal. No, I no, have a deal. That's no, all that's going to happen. That's not what we're doing. We're saying when I was talking Why to Norman. Why did it get really smoggy? Raise your hand if you have oh, ever been right. personally victimized by Norman Bones. Oh, damn it, guys. I'm gonna wait. Just saying. You still put your hand up, Dad. My point is, everyone's gonna be there to be like, okay, while I was talking to Norman about this information, he mentioned that, you know, uh, he he didn't own the birds or something like that. That, that might be important any any kind of information might be important here and that's what it is it's like i don't know it's like if there was some global disease and all these oh, countries what did he came just together. do he's bowing because i'm waving it okay oh. oh how formal oh stunning wait whose boat is that probably storm because i was a bitch Less of a bitch than I could have been. What did you just do? Did you try and tase Norman? You're trying to yeah. tase Norman. Oh You're so dumb. Yeah. Do not do that. You tried to kill him, which is why we're in the. Oh! I cleared this up Stop! already. Stop! You didn't clear it up. You just Stop! <laughs> told him shit that he said changes nothing. Richard, come well, back, Richard. And, and, sh and shooting this taser Richard, is clearing we... nothing. Uh, come back. Jesus. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So. I don't have any diplomacy about you. All right, let's. So the cob, right? We show up, and the whole intent is to, I imagine, figure out whose deal is what, alongside discuss. No. Discuss. Yeah, I think that's important. Alongside discuss. No. Yes. It's I'll... not important because then people aren't going to trust it because they're not going to want to tell everybody their deal so that other people can dismantle them and go yeah, against it. Telling. Okay, so we're going to go there oh, for information. It's anonymous. Yes, information. Okay, so I'm going to show up and I'm going to say, Hi, my name is Matt Rhodes and I'm in this position because I'm the one who almost got away. And also Flop decided to try to kill him. Oh my god, I didn't 
try and kill him. <laughs> I cleared that up with him. That's what I was going to do. I had a Can conversation with him. Can a bus to this? Because I feel like a lot of people are going to be throwing. We need like a right. Greyhound. We need like one of those big buses where we all get together and we all bring our backpacks and we get signed, you know, papers. I'm going to get parents. us a boat, a guy, and we're all going to meet at the dock. I don't have any parents, so. Oh, a, a guardian or so, just. No. Well, my last one abandoned me, and then my previous okay. one that so we don't get dead, signed papers. I we don't, don't like my mom. Okay, well, that was so well. insensitive. There you go. See. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Look. What's to say that Norman hasn't gotten wind of this and is going to show up? He knows. He knows. I am working on a solution to that I problem. Asked, there's, that's not even a problem. I asked a if he was going to go. Is to just invite him so he can listen to all of our opinions. I asked him if he was going to go, and he said to do what? Put on a fucking show. So he's not coming. I he said he's more him. interested. Okay, well, he's saying he's more interested in what the outcome is going to be than what happens there. Well, then maybe he should show up. Okay, and what if... What if he makes a deal with someone to to break their deal if they sabotage the cop? As in, yeah, not, not hurt us, That's not hurt us, but, but provide information that is not true that we true. then formulate a plan that heavily relies on that. Yo, that'd be five head. Yeah, that is a possibility that's going to happen here. We can't trust all the information that's going to be given, but we have to at least be is open Storm gonna to be there? It. She was. I hope not. Okay. Well, I asked her how her day was, and she goes, I'm alive. Yeah, she said that probably because she has an upcoming court case where she thinks she's gonna die because she has to testify against a bunch of people. But that's, that's besides the point. That's her? What do you mean? That's her? Oh my god. You mean the, the EMS that has to go in front of the stand? Yes. Did you not realize that? No. I told her to get a deposition, but that's besides the point. I, I Okay. We can circle back to that. Storm, I think, is going through some stuff outside of Norman. So... Hey, Prote. Hey, Kathy. Listen, I am... I'm not... I don't... I think everyone's going to be armed at this meeting. I'm not going to be taking anybody's weapons from them. I'll just request no class tools because they'll look stupid and this is supposed to be veiled as a Dia de los Muertos party. This is a gang meeting. Can right. we have it at the lighthouse? We've, we've got... No. Andy found somewhere pretty cool. Okay. But so Pixie's I'm calling hoping... me. <laughs> I I told Pixie and to come Pixie. here. And to Pixie. So, how was your talk with Norman? I asked him if he was uh, wanting us to move. He said no. I asked him about Pawn Steel because I was curious. Uh, and then he asked if we were talking about anything important. And I said we were talking about the name for Bone <laughs> Oh. Yep. That's, so that's let's beautiful. let's say we all show up, and we all agree. Fuck Norman. Uh. Take us. Uh, I am and not... he does. Then what? What is he gonna do? Who is he gonna hold stuff above? Everyone else? Wait, you think everybody who has deals should go up there and say, take us? No, no, no. What I'm saying oh. is, let's say everyone goes to Norman and says, hey, I'm not following through with the deal. Fuck off. He kills a lot of people. Okay. And gets exactly but, what he wants. But hear me out. Hear me out. If he kills them, and the person who made the deal is already dead why will it matter to them huh okay 
Hypoth let's say it wasn't me and Richard involved in this. Let's just say it was Richard. The deal on the table as it currently stands is Richard or me, or maybe even you, who knows, uh, in exchange, well, you know, we can remain safe in exchange for another life. Let's say, actually, I mean, again, this is sort of to keep you safe, right? If the whole intent is to keep you safe and Richard says, uh, no, I'm not doing what you want me to do, which is sacrifice someone else. And he gets Richard. And the threat is then, well, I mean, I, at that point, isn't, isn't the threat gone? I, I, I'm, I'm sort of confusing myself here. The point I'm trying to make here is if someone makes a deal, right? And their life is on the line. Uh oh, and their life is on the line. And they pretty much say, I'm not following through with my end of the deal, right? And again, their end of the deal is to save someone else. What are they going to do? They're going to get rid of Richard in this case, right? But then what? What else would happen? The reason I'm bringing this up is because in a limited situation, right? Where it's just us, that's one thing. But if everyone did that, what would happen moving forward? Who would he have to hold something above? Like, does he then just move on to the next person? Does he move on to you, Flop? That's a big question mark. The, the issue, though, is trying to convince other people who also have deals to do the same uh, it's thing. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It doesn't nullify the chain, though. The issue as well is some He's people living actually... living off of a chain. If you go and yeah. die, someone else is going to make a deal to bring him back. And so on and so on and so on. The other issue is a lot of people who talk to Norman don't fucking ask me why, but a lot of people like to idolize this guy. And I don't know why, but people idolize him. And I think like that who? Uh, there's people who fucking love this guy. I don't know. Apparently, according to Psy Carter, he could become invincible if he talks to him. Listen, I'm just saying the biggest mistake I've seen people make is not asking. Why is there questions. a local flyway man at the fucking lighthouse? Huh? A what? Uh, is someone dressed like or? the highwayman at the lighthouse? Oh, is it Pez? I'm too lazy to stand up. Oh, or that guy, that Hess guy that works at Roosters. He kind of looks like him. He scared Damn the it. shit out of me. He came out of a bush and I nearly had a heart attack. Wait, are you the talking fuck? about Blade or Hess Blade or Blade? Yeah, uh, Hess fuck. Blade looks okay, like yeah, him, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's him. I'm just saying he. Oh my god. It looks like the highwayman in his pajamas. Yeah, it looks like the highwayman if you forgot to get changed that day. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Have any ideas, Richard? Other than like, you guys killing me. You know yeah, because that's huh? not going to happen. No, because then you'll stay in purgatory and then one of them will make another deal to get you out and then you're back in the same position, but with less people. That's a bad idea. Yeah, that's a bad one. Oh, uh, I asked him just, you know, when I went over there to ask some clarifying questions. He said, why not Bundy? And he sort of... And by the way, I want to make this clear. It's not that I think Bundy deserves... That's neither here nor there. Uh, he pretty much said to ask Bundy about his lungs. Does anyone know what's going on with that? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. What? Bundy um, is uh, yeah, basically dying um, in the sense where it's severely... Her, I would say is the best way I could put it. Um, Norman did the same thing to Cleo. He's doing it to Bundy. But for Cleo, it was her heart. Well, he wants on. revenge on every single person who's involved in the lighthouse man. Okay, well, Flop has just said that he didn't have much involvement. 
Huh? So why is this happening? Why us? Huh? Is, huh? What? Who? Who's? Who's? Who are you referring to? The other people involved in the lighthouse incident, I would imagine. You know, when people tried to make Cleo bench press a lighthouse. I. No. Are Are, are you referring so to? That was an accident. Okay. Yeah. I think what do you mean, an avoidable huh? accident. I'm the one who fucking pressed the button. Okay, I said what I said. I couldn't even see it. Okay, you want to know where I was when it all happened? See that rock where? over there? I'm not blaming the you specifically, Pawn. Goddamn. Over there. Sorry, I sorry. It, uh, it's sensitive because I got blamed for it by Bundy, so I don't want to. Sorry. Oh, who, okay, oh, no, who, I think who put you up to it? That one. Let's get to the root cause I here. Mean, I understand desperation, right? Because we why. need to point fingers. Who was it, oh. Pond? <laughs> who was it? That's right. You throw them under the bus. <laughs> I'm about to throw them under a lighthouse. Who was it, Pond? Oh my god. Listen, we can swap Cleo you can't out. Do who that. was it? Who was Did it? You say that? You mean who who set up the plan? Yes. Bundy. Okay. Are well, you? he's dying. So. <laughs> ah! Fuck. Wait, are you trying to think of someone to cash in? I can't do that. Oh my Carter! god. Well, I can. Lizzie Byrne. Elizabeth Byrne. The bird. I had other ideas, but I it's complicated. <laughs> do y'all ask questions when you talk to Norman? Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot. Some. Mm -hmm. Like a laundry list. I normally just have a conversation with him, and he normally asks me how I'm doing with my day. I don't think he actually gives a fuck. I think he's just trying to see if he can get information from me. But it's nice to at least know someone wants to ask. Oh, pond. Hey. I wish for like better life, things for you like, than your life yes, being like well, Norman is such a good listener. <laughs> Yeah, when you've been dealt everything, everything you've been what? dealt, this is all oh, I have. God. I literally have Norman Bones as the closest oh. thing to a father figure in my life. Finally, Imagine. a man who listens. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I'm so sorry for everything you're going through. Oh no. Okay, so Pond, is he aware that you pressed the button? Because I yeah. imagine if he was... Your your deal would not have been no Norman. Norman. I mean, I, I told him that I blamed myself for Cleo dying. Why do you think I come here every day to leave her flout? Oh. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> oh, did you um get a Cleo's room? Recently. Uh, the fact that it's all packed up? Yeah, I saw. It's packed Wait, up? Yeah. They packed up the room. room. Uh, Ooh. Wait, why'd you, why'd you say it like that, Flop? Weren't we just I... talking... Hold on. Oh, weren't we just talking shit the other day about Storm because she willingly moved into a house where Cleo's stuff was still all in perfect condition and untouched? Why are they packing it now, though? Why not? Yeah, you can't hold on to things for. I, I trust me. I would love nothing more than for Cleo to be able to move back into that. Listen, I don't know. Th this is a personal take, and I'm going to tell you right now that there's no one that can change my opinion on this, and there's no side that will change my opinion on this. The fact that has moved very quickly and was immediately pretty much in another relationship very shortly after and uh, the current circumstance that they're in between storm and him yeah i that does not sit right with me and it will never sit right with me it doesn't really have to if it helps him through his grief it helps him through his grief i'm gonna go find out who this fucking scuffed highway man is give me a minute it's annoying Hey, where, where are they? Oh, they're walking up. Hey. 
looks like the highwayman. The highwayman was homeless. Looks His like life is on the road. I don't know. From a distance, kind of looks like Bucky. But I, I can't see his arm. Norman. About what? Norman. You can't ask him clarifying questions if you can sacrifice know. yourself. I'm not. I'm not even gonna ask about the deal. I'm just gonna ask about him. You should ask every question you can think of. I mean, I should we go I'm there as a group or? It's not that I don't want you to. I, I don't want you to come. Because I want to try and dig a little deeper about him for what. Okay. All right. Be nice. Wish me luck. Be nice. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. That's the best chance you have. Warm vanilla. Sugar. What are you guys mm. on the bear? Uh, candles. well, cologne and candles. No, hmm. they got rid of Apple Amaretto. Your husband pours deer juice on himself. Yeah, did you know that musk is an ingredient for a lot of cologne, and uh, apparently that comes from a deer? What? Yeah, mm -hmm. musk. <clears throat> Also, uh, uh, my cologne of choice, um, my, like, OG, can't go wrong, says, uh, it's ideal for the strong, sensual, determined man of today. That's me. That's accurate. So, uh, what'd you How clarify? I didn't clarify anything. I told you I wouldn't, and I didn't. Well, what'd you ask? Well, I think most of the conversation I just had wasn't with Norman. Huh? It was with Death. Well, yeah, Dark. Where have you been? Well, I got some clarifications. Well, I didn't get hey, clarifications. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Mm. Not on the deal. Not on the deal. Okay. Well, why were you so quick to defend when I asked it that way, and then uh, you just immediately turned it around and used it in the same way I originally did? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. If we're looking at, you know, one of those D and D alignment charts that go from lawful good to, to uh -huh. chaotic evil, where do you think death sits on that? In Norman's case specifically. No, no, no. Just death in general. Through history, death... Where does death sit on that? Death is being the being that takes people from this side to the other side. You're saying from a human perspective? In general. In general? I have two different answers. Well, three different answers. <sighs> I don't... Just death in general. If you're like, talking about, like, from your guys' perspective on Norman, I highly recommend that you look at him as, um, was it lawful evil? Not Norman. Just death. Okay, he is the same thing. Okay. Exactly. Assume I'm talking the, about death when I say Norman. I don't know. I'm thinking more don't. of a, uh... This is what I'm saying. Don't think of Norman as death. Think about before before you knew this Norman Bones... You had a different opinion on what death Ooh. was. Because it didn't have a personality. I don't know. I'm thinking of a... Uh... Right. So, I, I, basically, hmm. my opinion on death before Norman was death was neutral. Death right. didn't have... That was my first thing. Agendas. Death was just there at the end of it all to take you, for, take you somewhere. Wherever that place might be. They don't care whether you're necessarily good or bad. They were just there. So death, and I still believe it now, is neutral. Things must die. They are there to collect those people. Those things. Right. But that conversation I just had, that adds up. Death is still there, and death is still neutral. But when Norman went into that room with death or whatever it was when he died 
Death walked out, and a sliver of death was Norman Bones. Just a sliver. But that sliver, at this point in time, is enough to not be neutral anymore. It's like Andy said, it's lawful evil. It has its own agenda, and it will do anything it can to meet that agenda. So like I said, I was having most of that conversation down there with Death, with Mr. Neutral. But Mr. Neutral said that as much as they are neutral, Norman isn't. And right now, Norman is... Norman is controlling that entity. And so Norman wants to enjoy himself, and that includes causing people pain and watching things die. Mm -hmm. Question? No yeah. Did you draw this out? Or did you, are you making the the determination that you were speaking to death. No, I was... I mean, I was... it's not like a multiple personality thing. It's... It's almost like Norman's a vessel for death at this point. There is a tiny part of him that is still feeling like a man that cares or, mm -hmm. you know, is more partial to certain things. But yeah, the overwhelming majority is neutral as hell. You're not wrong, Dark. You are correct on all of that. Yeah. I think... I was being pretty honest, and they were being pretty honest, too. I did speak to Norman, or I kind of was speaking to both about Norman's past. Um, he said this all started when he watched a cat... On the fence. On the fence, die. Eventually, mm -hmm. his dad killed his mom. And before that, he killed someone else, and then he came to Los Santos and it all kicked off. He also has a brother somewhere out there. Mm -hmm. um, named Isaac. I mean, Isaac, Even, what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Norman Bones' real name is. Why are you worried about Isaac? <clears throat> I'm not worried about Isaac. Did he indicate if he was dead? He's not. How do you know? Actually, specifically, he told me he's not sure. But, well, actually, I think he said not that I know of. Which, he would be the guy who would know, to be fair. My thinking is Norman called himself a sociopath. Now, I'm no psychologist or no sociopath, psychopath expert. But I'm pretty sure those people are still capable of caring for people who they are close to or care about. And I think a brother might be one of them. He is. He loved Isaac. If we can find Isaac. He doesn't know where he is, and Isaac has memory problems. And Norman's pretty sure he doesn't always remember who he is. I'm just thinking maybe if we can help. Is there any reference in his journal to him? I don't think so. Those are all questions I asked myself. If we can help Norman, maybe we can solve our problems. You have to keep in mind there is only a very, 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 very tiny part of Norman that cares, but the overwhelming majority does not. Care what has become of Isaac. There's still a chance. 
Very small one. I mean... I'm not discouraging you. I just am... I know. Helping with the picture, I guess, as best I can. I mean, what do we... What do we know about Norman, right? Previously... An attorney. Right? Um, Taxi driver. PI. Well... So, oddly enough, when you say that, my encounter with Norman, when he shot me, was uh, he called for a taxi ride. Me and another taxi driver showed up at the same time and pretty much argued over who was going to give him a ride without knowing who this man was. Shocker. I was the lucky one. And um, that's how that started. Uh, do you guys know where Jaeger lives? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where he told me to bring him. And I, like I said before, I sort of talked him down. Um, was able to, you know, convince him. Um, oh gosh, I don't remember the exact wording, but uh, pretty much said, you know, I want to be able to, you know, at least see what I'm facing, essentially, you know, what I'm going up against, and the first opportunity I had, I want to say I tackled him to the ground and ran, and, uh, tried making it back to the car, because my car was there. Unfortunately, I couldn't without getting past him, and ultimately, I ended up, uh, jumping off, uh, the side. It was, it was a big fall. Um, I was good, though, and, uh, and then he shot me. Um, yeah, that's, I find it funny that he was a taxi driver who needed a ride that day. Dark. Good job asking questions. I kid you not, every time you run into that thing over there, you should be asking every single question that comes to your mind. He will answer, answer most of them truthfully, and you will usually be able to tell when he doesn't. That being said, I did think, um, if I know you and where your line of thought is going, I did think of using that for myself. However, I have like 30 people I'm trying to protect, and that situation of a life for a life doesn't necessarily work in mine. But for you guys, it might. If you are able to find him. I don't even know where to start. I mean, actually, now I do, because Norman said he was in Chicago. So, we look at records of Chicago. Norman was, what, how old when he died? Is that all you know about Isaac? I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's all I know is his name. And okay. then he was his little brother. There's more. Isaac worked for a time here. As what a doctor. Do here on the island oh my god as a doctor i know i need to figure oh my god i don't know if i can con going after is not a good person he's a good person oh by my god i don't know if i can connect the dots i'm trying to remember oh my god don't why can i think it? of his fucking name I connor played him is, oh! i mean are you talking like in norman's capacity or is there a different person that's dr isaac I don't know. I, I think I know a Dr. Isaac. I don't know whether it's the same Dr. Isaac. I don't know, but uh, Norman said he would um, hurt people Wait. in his own way. Hold on. If you're referencing a doctor, I could call Pixie. She's worked in that field forever. I mean, yeah. I think if there were a doctor in Los Angeles, they have a brother called Norman, and they both grew up in Chicago, that seems like enough information to find out who this person is. All right. What did you What did you mean they're not a good person, Andy? Yeah, it hurt people. 
Huh? A doctor? Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Hold on. I have to look through. I, I distinctly recall Connor's doctor. But I want to say that there was something about his identity that not many people knew. But I'm trying to remember if that was an in-character thing or an out-of-character thing. And I'm not comfortable making that call. Because it was so long ago. So long ago. Dr. Isaac sounds right. I, I don't know. If I had to describe him, he had like... Oh gosh, I don't know if it was gray. But he had the slick back hair. Uh, always wore the shirt and a vest. Is it okay if I call Pixie? I wouldn't see a problem with it, especially if you think that she could be... Give me a second. Uh, Richard, come over here. Dad, remember I said enjoy your cigarette? You can put it down now. Why is he sticking his butt out? Oh, he threw his butt over threw the ledge. Back. Huh? What's happening? Is this the strategy you guys want to go with? Well, I guess Rhodes filled them in on what you just said. Well, I mean, I, I was asking if Norman is the type to, you know, prefer that we ask for permission or forgiveness, right? If we go there and say, hey, we can't kill someone. Can we instead try to help you find your brother? I think he's far more likely to say no than if instead we show up with his brother and say we have something better i don't know if the if the Correct. second one is willing to or you know would, would upset him I, I i have no idea it would take away the illusion of the power of his choice and he would probably try to do something that asserts that he is the one in control you are less likely to produce a good result if you do that one now for the two of you that were over there i'm going to emphasize this i have not helped anybody with any of this one, because people run around saying I'm besties with Norman, when that's not true. And two, the person I'm closest to that's involved in all of this uh, doesn't need the help. So three, I've been extremely private about a lot of it, but I will tell you guys everything I know that will help you. Because when I meet with Norman, I ask, and I kid you not, if I had to, if I had to guess, roughly 19 pages worth of questions. Number one. Stop fucking with him. Stop being rude. Stop saying you fucking hate his guts or calling him a cunt or whatever the fuck else you guys have done to be antagonistic with him. Anything that would warrant him to call you an insect, Dark. Yeah, Norman I apologize. Straight up said, I, that's fine. He has straight up said that he is more lenient with people that are kind to him. Always. Because it is extremely rare. Number two. Norman has said... Obviously, like he said to you, the answer is in front of everybody, but they are far too busy being angry. Or, kind of from my stance, uh, don't care. If you are going to go down the route of trading a life for a life, and you want it to be a live one, you have to acknowledge that Isaac is somebody who hurts people. So you have to be able to live with that. But if he's having memory problems, there's a chance I guess you could get him locked up in Parsons or something and keep him away from the average person. However, you do not let Norman know that. You do not tell him you are going to get him locked up. Are we clear? Yeah. Yeah. Next, if you're going to go with this, you need to approach it as a question, not as a demand. And again, still being kind in the process. And on top of that, you need to spin this entire story that this would be of benefit to Norman and that he would have more bodies traded instead of the one that you would provide instead of him. 
you have to convince him that Isaac would be better for business in the way that he will kill more people than the one that you would be offering otherwise. If it is of benefit to Norman, and it is, it is of entertainment to Norman, he is more likely to take that. I don't know if this will work, but you guys have a chance. Do I think he will completely nix your deal? No. But if you go down there and say you're going to try and find him, he might extend your time. Hold on. What, 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 what we say? So we saying we're just gonna so that we don't have to kill somebody. We're gonna give him his brother, who's gonna kill dozens more. Potentially. But this is stuff that would likely otherwise already happen. Is what I'm gathering from this. If Isaac's already violent and he was he to be turned over, does it stop the violence or does the violence continue? Except Dark, I think what Andy's getting at is that this would be a way out. For us. Yes. Yes. Potentially. Okay, but Richard. That all hinges you... on if you can actually find Isaac. Harris out here. He's out there. So if he's doing anything, it's happening no matter what. No matter what you are now aware of with the tiny part of Norman that cares, you need to understand that the thing you are appealing to is not Norman. You are appealing to death. Because that is the overwhelming majority. So you do not go there and you say, we'll help you find your brother that you love so dearly. You go down there and you say, I know that you loved him once, but he's also good for business. Norman wants death. He wants people to die. You have to appeal to that part of him. And that's still appealing to both sides, both, both Norman and death. Norman on the basis of it being his brother. Yes. Death on the basis of him being a bad man and hurting people. Yes. You don't have to remind him of the small part of him that still cares because he probably won't like it. You have to convince him that if you feel you can do this, you are capable of causing more death than the one you would bring yourself. you do have to go into that ready to live with that and whatever happens after this does not feel like a solution it's like a band-aid on the flip side which is a sign I know you guys won't be partial to. You could try to spend your week finding Isaac, and if you succeed, you could threaten to offer him. Well, threaten's not the right word. But you could bring him and see whatever happens. By bringing him, are you implying bring him to Norman or to tell Norman that we have Isaac as a bargaining as, chip? As your person that you're offering the life of. Now, I'm just playing devil's advocate because I, I want to make sure that... Interesting choice of words. Listen, you, you, you're, you're, <laughs> you're getting my point. <laughs> um, the The flip side is do we know Isaac well enough that Isaac would apply to Matt and Dark Steel? The unfortunate part is, I'm surprised this doesn't happen with you guys, but usually you have to pick somebody that Norman approves. And he hasn't approved. He didn't indicate that until I asked her 
clarifying information. Correct. Uh, but if you drag somebody down there that he like has a deal with or doesn't want dead, then he will say no. Will that at least get us an extension? Probably not. Chat, I also just remembered, I think a lot of that was 2.0, and I think it would have been with Kevin Shaw, not Rhodes. I think. Trying to, it was so long ago, man. Not guaranteed it would work. We could still reject him. But um, killing someone who seemingly hurt a lot of people wouldn't really be any different than executing a serial killer. Is there anybody currently on death row? Hydra? That might potentially actually successfully get the death penalty. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. But that would be such a large case that there, there's no way that that would just fly under the radar. Yeah. I feel like we've landed at the train tracks trolley problem that we talked about last time. Yeah. Let's sleep on it. There's no point. We are doing right now what in reality should happen after bone con because we might be given information by the dozens of people probably attending that will change our whole perspective on this whatever we're thinking about right now i have a question there's <sighs> go ahead cindy tipton I don't no. want to keep hard. No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying sacrifice. If she doesn't have a deal, why does she keep showing up here? How do we does she have a deal? She Ooh. either has a deal, wants to make one, or is inquiring to learn more about, I guess, highwayman. an inspiring factor from Norman. What does the highwayman do? Well, whatever Norman says for one. That's probably why. She's probably looking for insight on how to deal with him. I don't blame her, to be honest. Hmm. All right. We don't need to make a decision right now. We've got a week. I am going to step in, though, and remind you about something. This is more directed to you, Dark. Well, I'm okay to sleep on it, but I think you're insane if we're going to wait until we have a conversation with everybody for you to come up with a decision. Because by the time that happens, you're going to have about 48 hours to actually have something to propose to Norman. And I really don't think that you should be giving yourself short notice on a decision on this. I think you should have serious consideration about what's been discussed. And would I would be, be annoyed annoyed if you waited until the last minute. Yeah, I don't think anyone would be happy, including myself. And I'd like to have some input on your decision, if I can, in order to offer some kind of opinion. But I, I, I do not think you should wait 48 hours before. Okay, but I'm not going to be preaching to everybody that they should be talking to each other before making decisions and then not talking to everybody before making a decision. 
Oh, well, hold on. This made is a decision before talking to anybody. This this is different though, because everyone has their own deal. Everyone has their own set of circumstances, and I don't think making a broad, generalized, you know, don't do anything without informing everyone else is is. Listen, we need to be prepared. We can be prepared and 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 look into stuff and and do some yes. actionable things before speaking with everyone, before fully following through with whatever we come up with but we need to get to the the point in which we can push a button and follow through with a, a plan with without waiting five days so that we only have less than two i agree what did pixie she say she didn't pick up unfortunately Damn it. um i'm gonna text her dark do you have an idea as to what you're you're thinking right now are you just thinking sleep on it right now we bring it up tomorrow or are you thinking i i just i think we should have something grounded to consider moving into tomorrow weigh out the pros and cons another day but i don't think we should sleep on it until five days from now i just hate that to protect my own i have to risk so many other people i hate that I'm going to be honest. I, I hate it too. I'm not a fan and not to speak for anybody else, but I don't think anyone's a fan. But I also think that when given the opportunity and this isn't even an opportunity, this is a choice. I don't think that the choice should be made on half notice. I think that the choice should be considered now and have it change as you move forward. No, I agree. I agree. It, it could change completely, you know, an hour from now. But what I think did you just do? wait last minute is also foolish. Foolish. So I'm not saying that you need to come up with a choice right now. But I would definitely have something in mind. And then we can talk about it at least in the coming days. I'm comfortable with the option of talking to if you guys want to ask Norman about whether or not giving him his brother is an option that would help us I, like gathering that information is you know I'm okay with it doesn't necessarily mean I want to act on it you know what I mean I mean, we have to propose it as a vague, you know, not exactly super direct. Hey, uh, are you, you know, is, is this something that you would be interested in? Uh, and then pose the question, but not a, hey, we're, we're going to do this type thing. Because again, from, from what Andy said, uh, you know, he, he he likes people who are kind and upfront and not fucking around with him. Uh, and we have to appease both sides, which is death and Norman. We bring up Isaac, but the primary thing that we have to hit on is that the reason he would be far better than anyone else we could pick or bring to him as an offering is because Isaac is far more capable and you can... another option. What would that be? I don't know how much you like it, but you wouldn't be killing anyone. What would that be? We have to offer him chaos. And I don't know if it would work. But what you said you're worried about with people at BoneCon doing is what the fuck is that car is potentially something you could offer are you saying we be the person giving wrong information i think it's tommy mm -hmm. to make people believe that they're yeah, it's tommy yep no why not I'm not 
I'm not literally being the one person hanging on to whatever fucking hope we have left by putting together a meeting so everybody can try and hang on and build up a little bit of hope just to be the person to rip it all away and lie to them. Okay, so we show up. We offer all the information. And the next person, so desperate to get out of their situation, does what we intend on doing. Then what? That doesn't matter, because it's not, it's not me doing it. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Why aren't you killing somebody? It won't get people killed if they're smart enough. True. I live by if, a very simple listen, motto of trust anybody, but verify. If anybody goes into that meeting taking everything that they hear at face value, they are an idiot. I agree. But you're, we're not killing somebody because it's not who we are. Okay. Then let me ask you this. If you were asked, if you were given two options. Right now, Flop dies if you do not agree to this, okay? You can do one of two things. You can kill someone in Flop's place, or you can, can lie, lie to, to a people. group of people. What option do you take? You have 10 seconds. I would lie to people, yes. If that was the only choice I had. What the hell? Well, you could also hope and pray that Norman doesn't add stipulations onto it. The hell was that? You guys Some seeing birds. this? Yeah. What? I saw yeah. it. Huh? I don't see it anymore. It equal it right there. Landed? Right there. I don't see it anymore. Let me stand up. It is definitely right here. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I must be blind. He doesn't add stipulations. You could always just tell them afterwards. What? What did you just do? I mean, hell doing that alone and then norman using that as a uh not necessarily a bargaining chip but a talking point of i have people tied around my finger so much so that you need to be very careful of who you trust moving forward that might be enough to put a lot of fear in a lot of people but the reality is people need to be careful with who they're trusting and um and again i trust a lot of people but uh but I also like to verify things. So, if people are unwilling to do that and are shrugging this off as if it's something minor and are unwilling to verify, I think that falls on them. And they made those deals. I mean, they likely didn't want to. I mean, actually, that may not be true. A lot of those people may have willingly made deals. Who knows? I did. That's all not I'm even saying, a bad thing either. Ex exactly. All I'm saying is that I can tell you now, I'll walk in that room with a straight face and if given the opportunity to walk away from this with all of us safe, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell them a million different things that'll make them you know think that they're in a better I I don't know. I I don't know what I would say. Okay, I don't know what I would say. All I know is that I would do it if it meant that we were all safe. The best thing you can do is understand the situation you're in. And Dark, unfortunately, for everyone involved in this stuff, there is no... morally good route that you're going to be able to take. Unless you're very, very lucky. And go through a lot of pain before that. only thing you can do is make the most out of a very bad situation and i'm not even sure either of these ideas would actually work but they're definitely food for thought i 
said this about oh, and I'll say it again, I cannot afford to be pessimistic. But you need to be realistic. How can you be realistic in a situation when we're dealing with death itself? You can't. And I'll tell you right now, morally, since the beginning, morally speaking, I have not had morals. And it's not that I'm choosing not to. It's that it's very hard to come up with a moral compass on a decision that is happy for everybody. And realistically, at some point, people need to figure out how to fend for themselves. And I've had to accept the fact that I can't protect everybody. And I need to start protecting the people that I care about and let the people that are their own individuals start finding ways to protect themselves. Everybody has a different deal. Everybody has a different outlook on Norman. Everybody has a different relation with other people. Everybody has a different perspective. We have the perspective on Norman that I bet you Storm does not have, and I bet you that other people do not have. And realistically, I don't think that there is a moral decision that can be made that is happy for everybody. And I am with Andy in terms of having to make the decision that is within your interest of, I guess, being a, a, a healthy benefactor for, for, I guess, the people around you. I just, what I don't understand is with all of these deals that other people are making, is the general, like, is the majority of them a life for a life? He goes, I won't hurt, insert loved one, if you bring me a body. Is that it? Because... To my knowledge. He... Sorry, go ahead. So that's to my knowledge. The only I... one I've heard that doesn't involve that is my own. I don't understand. And... Maybe it's just me, okay? But people have no problems shooting people left, right, and center all day, every day. Right? The reason we are conflicted is because we are on the other side of the law. We typically enforce the law and deal with people continuously who do this on a daily basis. How is it so morally... Uh, how is this a moral question for all of these other people with deals. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why people somehow feel trapped in these deals when it's something they would otherwise do on because a whim. To choose someone they care about. And a lot of oh. things I've heard. It's not just, I mean, it sounds like some are just somebody you know well. That's exactly what he said to us. But yeah, but I know in some it is, has been directly someone you've very much care about that changes things that does change the whole dynamic that makes sense yeah okay well i mean do we go down here and or do we go down there and offer him two different things we either offer him his brother and mention that you know well, hold on, Andy. Do you think just connecting him with his brother would suffice? Or... Because you did say... You know, he hurts people and... Yeah. Don't tell Norman, but... Ideally get Isaac locked up. But mm -hmm. you can't. Well, he'll probably anticipate that, but he probably... He might not care. Because he might just, you know, make plans to make other deals to prevent that from happening. Yeah. Regardless. Oh my uh, god. Bring him back into, you know. I don't know that I could do society. that. Yeah. Here's why. Mm -hmm. Pixie. Pixie has been trying to avoid Norman like the plague. She refuses to come up here. And imagine <laughs> we did get Isaac and imagine we did put him in Parsons. Who do you think deals with them? 
Mm. Pixie. I recommend if you do make an offer, you have many, 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 many stipulations to add on top of it. When I was making my deal, I went so far as saying, Norman, have I forgotten any stipulations that you were going to go make fun of me for to someone else? To the point where he got vaguely irritated and was like, no, Miss Jones, you're very careful and very intelligent. Who's out there with him? Ugh. Who knows? Yeah. Probably Tommy. Tommy pulled up. Let's go see. Who is Tommy? He's one of the MS. Hey, look, it's Tommy. Shocker. Yeah. Last time we were here, his vehicle was in the ocean. On the water over there. Yeah, I remember that. I'm going to give you a heads up. If you go down there right now, uh, Norman is going to say some shit like, Miss mm, Jones helped you with this, didn't she? Just as a fucking forewarning. Well, then we sleep on it. No, I'm not worried about it because there's nothing between me and Norman that says I'm not allowed to tell or help other people. But he will make that comment. And then probably call me over, just as a heads up. Is it going to affect you in any way? No. The last time I tried to give somebody advice on how to ask questions, they asked him questions. And he looked at them in the face and said, Good question, Miss Jones, while I was standing behind them. <laughs> and I was oh like, God. Thanks! It was, it was very awkward. I just you need a lot of stipulations you need to go in there acting like you have come to terms with your situation and above all else you need to stop trying to run away from the problem so to speak and find a solution that's never going to work you need to take the reins on it and decide how this is going to turn out for you not just let it happen to you yeah I agree so you can't go down there trying to make like last ditch fail safe so you need to go down there with a choice and a decision and all of the capability in the world to speak like you know this will be better for him and for you and everyone wins I mean is this something we do before speaking to Pixie in regard oh hold on Oh, she texted me 11 minutes ago. Let me call her. Oh, she's on the phone. I prefer if my involvement not be known to Pixie regarding this. Yeah, 100%. Like, obviously, she'll see me here, but... Uh, she, she wouldn't be coming here. She's avoiding okay. this area like the plague. Right. Um... Can I ask a, a question? Yeah, go ahead. Did... You ask her why she was here the other day, by chance? Pixie? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. All I know is that she said that she, I think, briefly spoke with... I, I don't know the context. Um, I don't I'm even know if she was actually up. here. I, I'm, I'm not sure the context, again. She was here. Uh, there's a photo. I, I just... My, my point is I respect her stance. But at the same flip of the token, she was at the lighthouse talking to him. Right. I'm. I don't. I don't care what deal she makes. I want to know if there was a doctor by the name of Isaac. That's fine. I just think it's it's interesting that she's avoiding a place like the plague when not the other day she was here. Well, she got confronted by her. Significant other, if you will. Okay. And the reason she's concerned is because, from my understanding, he's indicated that if he finds out she's been here, he's going to blow the lighthouse up. And we all know what happened last time. So trust me when I say she's incentivized to not come here. Oh, Pixie's calling. The day of the dead party. Wink. Why don't you just get them printed at the... Hey. Why do you need invites? Yeah, I don't I know the... how to do that. Question. You want me to make the invites? Question. Well, I'll, I'll, make like the... I'll make them. I'll make the... Question. 
Did Why you send a lot of time? Invites? Question. Did you send a lot of time? Did you this send is, a lot of time? Answer, answer, this is kind yes. of important. Isaac. You someone said that they grew up in Chicago, right? Yeah. Norman said that he and his well, he grew up in Chicago, so I assume Isaac did too and his okay. family. So then it likely can't be Dr. Isaac, and here's why. He has an accent. Like, not from here. What do you mean, not from here? Okay, do you know how typically I have to ask you if someone's a commoner? Yeah. Who is the? Are they one of the poor? He's. He didn't he sound won. like a commoner, and I wouldn't have to ask you. Chicago. What did he sound like? Uh, hard to explain, but. I, well, I can tell you at the very least, he did not grow up in Chicago, at least not for very long. I don't know what context, and maybe we need to clarify with Norman, but he. Th there is no way. If it was Dr. Isaac, there's no way that he, you know, his enchi or entire childhood was in Chicago. I refuse to believe that. Okay. Yeah, but if you move and then live somewhere else for so long, your accent can fade. I mean, that's true, but I don't know. I feel like you would... You'd, you'd sort of be somewhere in between. This He doesn't sound anywhere in between, or at least not that I Are recall. Are you saying he's not common? You mean he's British? Like he's got a British accent? Oh, he's got an accent. Couldn't tell you exactly what it was. Okay. I mean, it's certainly possible. Uh, we don't know when... Because we know Norman killed his dad after his dad killed his mom. So at some point... Isaac became an orphan. So it's certainly possible that, like Andy said, he moved somewhere and gained an accent. Or, if he's a bad guy, who might also be a sociopath like his brother, and they could be manipulating everybody around them by just talking different. I don't know. Let's not rule anything out. All right, all right. I'll do so, some digging tonight and see okay. if I can find anything on eyes. Right, I'm gonna pee in a bush. Go, go. I don't mind me. Die. Up top, am I right? Oh no! Ow! Okay, sorry. Hit me. Uh, hey. Hey. You got coffee without the rest of us? Actually, oh. flop. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm actually considerate. Um, who would like coffee and who would like tea? I would love some coffee. Oh, tea, please. Tea, please. Wait, okay. what Zipper. kind of tea is it? Uh, it's y Yorkshire red. Y y pudding. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have it. Not the best. There you go, Flop. You know, when Thank you say you. Yorkshire red, do you just mean like normal Yorkshire with the red label? Or yeah, well, there is a gold label. Yeah, I know there's gold, but then like the York but red is... Yorkshire label just has the red on it on the front yeah, yeah yeah so it's not like a different thing is it no it it is it's a oh, different blend of like a, oh, a different shoot, blend of tea yeah yeah i'm gonna look that up you don't trust me no, i just want to see what the packet looks like um okay so uh pixie said um Remi or reminded me of the accent uh, that immediately popped into my mind and again could immediately recognize that uh, you know again definitely didn't sound like a commoner that's for damn sure you know how someone would would sound if they were like um how do I put this someone who would drink tea with their pinky up my oh, God. a potty cunt. Yes. Yeah, that was... Oh, I see. Uh, um, and so she gave me oh, no. three last names. She said Smith, Jones, and Johnson. Um, She said she doesn't recall... Uh, because as soon as she said Smith, I was like, really, of all last... Like, are, are we dealing with, like, a, a John Smith here? Um, 
do I get no I, I don't know um so she mentioned those three I I don't know if any of them are right <sighs> what else um beyond that she just mentioned that she would constantly go back and forth with him they always had arguments uh and I think that's that I mean But I mean, we don't he, actually know if this is that guy. Him having the, that action definitely adds to the sociopath thing. If I'm honest. You think someone who is a respected member of the community, a doctor saving lives, is putting on a fake accent to trick everyone into believing that there's someone they're not and that they are truly a really bad person who hurts people no i'm showing that norman was a lawyer I... honestly yes. not far off <laughs> possibility I exists i guess norman also said that he only took cases as a lawyer that he knew he would win i don't know whether that's the same thing I guess because he didn't think he could win it. So it okay, question. Are his cases still available? No idea. Norman's cases? Yeah. I would probably assume not. But it speaks but a lot to his character that... He probably doesn't take deals that he knows he's not going to come out on top. I mean, not wrong. True. Well, it kind of... Isn't that just a normal human thing to do, though? Yeah. But it also gives us a good advantage of knowing what kind of deals we can propose. Well, the um, problem is that the thing that everyone has been saying, and from what I've seen in his journal, this Norman is different than the Norman from years ago. Not like night well, and yeah, day. Well, yeah, the Norman from years ago wasn't death. Exactly. The Norman from years ago was Norman, so and I, he's a shitty yeah. person. But my, my, my question is, are you trying to look into the character of Norman, or are you trying to look into the character of who death is because i don't think you're gonna find anything from death through his time as a lawyer mm. you can tell me differently i'm i'm just i'm just proposing that i don't think you're gonna find much about death right but i i think what andy was saying earlier in regards to uh primarily appealing to death right okay L let's just use easy numbers here let's say 90 percent of that thing at the lighthouse is death and 10 percent of it is norman if we go in there and we argue or you know say we have something better we have insert name who would be far more valuable to you than us doing one thing right if, if within that conversation, again, 90% of it is death and death thinks, eh, I'm kind of on, I'm kind of on the, the border, right? Kind of on the border. I'm not quite sure. If we just need that tiny bit to push him over the line to be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll agree to this. That might be that other 10% from Norman. Who knows? It. It might not work at all, but it's it's a shot I'm willing to take. No, I, and I I would I would I would 100% agree with you on that. I just the way that you explained it before had me concerned that you thought that you were going to find all your answers through that. No, uh, I no, think no, no. I think anything that you can pull from any strings that you can pull, uh, I think is going to be valuable here, as long as it doesn't interfere with the obvious relation of, you know, yeah, Norman's integrity with us. Oh, that guy's leaving, so you guys have a chance. Are we doing this? 
Real quick, I'm sure we can throw a spanner in the mix here. Flop, does, does Brian care about you or me or, or your dad? Uh, you want me to be incredibly blunt? Like super blunt? Yes. Okay. Spoke to Bryce yesterday. He's and I told him kind of uh, some very base details about what's been going on. I didn't give him the full story about your situation, but I did mention that you know some things have come up with Norman and you. And he's like, "Oh well, it sounds to me like that's your dad's problem." Yeah, I, I know he's your dad, but it, that just sounds like a him problem. Honey. And I know Bryce well. No, stop yeah. it. Stop it, <laughs> Matthew. Listen, what I'm trying to say is, on the phone just now, <laughs> I was basically, I told him that we've got a week and blah, 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 blah. Um, and he was like, gotta go, like, quiet. And I was like, you okay? And he was like, yeah, it's just that, you know, I, I'm stressed out with all this shit going on. But he was like, you know, we've got to make sure that we get this, this, you know, this meeting and everything sorted out because, you know, we've got to get this sorted so that, you know, you and Matt and and Flop are okay. Like, you don't have to do anything or anything like that. I just thought it was weird. Okay. I'm going to be, again, blunt. Bryce is, and, and I mean this wholeheartedly with the utmost respect for the guy because, yeah, I do consider him a friend. He is a manipulative prick. I, I don't know how else to put that. But the first thing Andy did, and no offense, Andy, but when you saw me was you punched me and said, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bryce told me everything. Bryce will twist things for his own narrative. No, he told me that you were going to try and work with the chicken man to kill Norman. And then I asked you and you said I was going to try to work with the chicken man to kill Norman. No, that's not what I said. That is not even remotely what I said. No, uh, that's, not even, that's not even chicken man. That's not even remotely. Said, oh, here's how you can get rid of Norman. You would have taken him up on I, it and worked with I, him. I, no, I, I, I actually told you verbatim that I, I wanted to know what the chicken man knew about Norman, and that conversation never happened. Uh -huh. So, that, that, that all in, in its entirely yes, is working is, with the is, chicken man to go against Norman. You, you, okay. Well, you went from that going against. You went from going against Norman, from going against Norman to killing Norman. And if he provided you a way to get rid of Norman, would you have said, oh, I'm not interested in that. Thank you anyway, though, sir. <laughs> Good day. No, no. I, I, no, I, I, he wouldn't have flop. So it all leads back to the same roads. I just skipped the TLDR. Listen, the issue, though, is that Bryce is going to push a narrative for his own being because he, he, he does nothing but degrade me, which is, you know, it is what it is. And then when I brought up your situation, Dark, okay, we were having a conversation. Sorry. I think okay. he's on the phone. Yeah, he, he, th that's that's no surprise. Oh my God! Wait, just he, hear me out, though, okay? You, it's Pixie. You sure? He's on the phone with Pixie. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. Bryce said that time's good. So two hours. After tsunami. 4 p.m. EST. 4 November second. EST. 9 p.m. GMT. Oh god, it might. I don't know, it might be a different. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Two hours after tsunami. On November second. Okay. Mariachi party. Not mariachi. Son, continue. I need to figure out if Pixie's gonna lie to me about being on the phone with Norman. She's probably going to. I'm gonna be blunt with you, but Why definitely. Why would she do that? Because Pixie, uh, I'm, I'm telling you now. I'm telling you right now. If if all you care about is Isaac, I, I'm telling you. The fact that she's saying she's staying far away from the place and she was literally here talking to Norman a couple days ago is suspicious as fuck to me. I'm not. I'm not concerned about Pixie, but I'm just saying. I feel like if she was going to be open about things, she would have already said that she had a, a, a conversation with him a couple days ago. I would definitely see if she lies to you. She would have no reason to, but she probably will to avoid having to come here. But my point being, I don't even remember what the fuck I was saying. What the fuck was I saying? Was anyone even listening? Uh, You were ranting about Bryce. Oh, yeah. 
Bryce doesn't give a shit about you, Dark. I'm going to be honest with you. He he flat out said, uh, yeah, you know what? That sounds like your your dad's problem. That shouldn't be a you hey. problem. I don't really Why? care. So Bryce has, has his, his, his own narrative he's pushing and whatever he's pushing, so be it, whatever. But he has always and will continue to twist some kind of notion to push for himself. Um, God forbid Bryce ever looks like the bad guy. And you know what? Realistically, am I friends with him? Absolutely. I'm good friends with him. But this is just this is just Bryce. And this has always been his push for the years that I've known him. So I'm great. And look, I got something else, though. Hmm? During this whole time. With um, the whole Norman thing is Bryce kind of saying it's like scared. Bryce has concern. Uh, in regards to Norman, uh, is he scared? I don't think he's scared, but Quick, Bryce... the person I just spoke to kind of said it's scared. Okay. The thing though, that I, the, the thing I'm going to let you know about Bryce is that he just like similarly to us and just like storm and just like Pez and just like everybody else who's involved, Bryce has an idea that he wants to go with. And he has a narrative that he's trying to work with. Not anymore. Not what he told me. What did he tell you? He told me that everything he's tried has... And he no longer has a plan or anything. So he's scared. Hey, he why does he that. need a plan? What's his deal? I have no idea. I feel like that's not my place to say. Listen. I'm going to say something here. And it's mm -hmm. going to go for the same thing for everybody. I think you need to reverse the steps a little bit. You can't be thinking someone's manipulative and they're lying to me as the first thing, okay? Do the same as your dad. Trust them, but verify things, okay? So, maybe just reach out to Bryce and be like, hey, you okay? Everything all right? And if you still think he's manipulating you after that, then fine, whatever. But maybe, like, Start making your first step is checking on people and then questioning them afterwards. I have. I've been speaking to Bryce about Norman for probably good good part of over a month and a half, two months at this point. How has he been, been involved talking. this long? He what dated the fuck? Cleo Shaw. Oh my god. They were close. Oh god. <sighs> Why are y'all concerned with Bryce? Now, I'm just, again, I'm just trying to figure out how people all are getting roped into Norman. I feel like you guys should be focusing on what you're going to do. Yeah, but you're right. We should. That's that's kind of my point. Do, do, I, I, all, all I'm saying and all I'm concluding with is that I've known Bryce for long enough to know when he's got consideration for others and when he has consideration for himself. I'm not coming to the conclusion. I've been talking to Bryce about his stuff and... Yeah, I think I think partially he he's twisting things for himself, but I don't think he's trying to get anything in the end. I just think he's trying to defend his his own actions. Regardless, the, the meeting's gonna happen. Bryce is gonna be there. We can talk everything out and hash everything out then. I don't hate Bryce. We can work things out. Let's focus on what's happening within the next seven days with with us. Okay, let's go. Let's go down there with a the game plan. And, um, Richard, if you wouldn't mind asking him the questions, because if I do, and, and I hear something I don't like, I might just reflex a, a sassy response that just isn't gonna work in our favor at all. I Wait, think... What am I, what am I saying? Well, I'm I so asking? confused. <laughs> Flop just say let's think about what we're gonna do over the next seven days and then he went okay great let's go down there yeah yeah well we, i'm so confused well here's the thing we have to right if we don't i'm just saying you guys don't seem to be on the same page yeah yeah, yeah I, well, we could do this tomorrow or the next day right i mean we could but at the i, I mean yeah we could you know what i mean what's gonna I, change from now until I, tomorrow i know we'll I mean, be able to find them tomorrow Less Listen, time, all I'm saying is Norman's five days I went ago, two weeks without talking five days ago, there wasn't a Russian embassy next to Mission Right BD. And okay, now there's a little Moscow. This is the first time I've seen all of us together with Norman around in a long time. Okay. Maybe, whose fault is that? You. Mine. 
No. Okay. I'm it's typically not on. around during this time. That always Sorry, comes around you late. You emailed me at 7.45 in the morning. Why you weren't you sleep? awake? Why weren't you awake? Because you bet your sweet ass. I wake up at 7.30. That's disgusting. And I wake up. Closer to midnight months. the night before. Well, the night at the day. I was at the, the gym then. Y'all realize you only got seven days, right? Yes, Andy. We, we know. A week happens very quickly, and we're all here together right now. That's all I'm saying. If, 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 if we're set on this, I think we should make something of it. I, I'm not but, set on this. Um, what, 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 is, what is your backup right now? I'm okay with waiting. Born. I, I'm okay with waiting, but I I will genuinely feel better knowing that you have some kind of backup. And if you don't, then I'm gonna be very concerned. Uh, yes, we do. We we I just said you we don't. do. No, we do. We deal with the Isaac situation, right? We offer it to him. If he's unwilling to accept, the backup is we cause chaos. No. What do you okay. mean no? Hold on. Majority rules here. Flop. What's your stance? What what kind of chaos are we referring to? Well, um, at uh, the cob, we stirring. People stir. Um, yeah, we we people stir. No one dies. Hmm. I mean, listen, if someone does something dumb. Uh, I, I I hate to say it, but people got to fend for themselves for once. Um, We're not thinking big picture here. Like the whole point of this meeting is so that we can exchange information so that we can get rid of Norman Bounce. Here's the issue, though. And again, we're circling right back to where we were at square one. Is that your motive and idea is something that I agree with. And I think most people would agree with. Except that make sure you're not yelling. Given. There, there's that guy back there. Should we ask him his involvement? Why don't you just go down there and... Who's that guy? What Offer him Tommy. It's Tommy. Either and see what he says. He he's he's an EMS. He he's he's good people. He's fine. Um. Oh fuck! Let's just go find out whether this is even an option for us. Okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm making oh. no deal. I say I was going to say to Norman. Listen. If I had long lost family, I would want to see him too. We're police officers. We got connections. If you would like. Can we, instead of killing somebody, find you? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold brother. on, hold on. I give us just a second. Uh, one, one second. Okay. What did okay. You do to piss him off. Uh, fucking hell. You're going about it the wrong way. You're appealing to the ten percent. We need to appeal to the ninety and the ten. I can't. We know your brother's not a good guy. And is seemingly far more valuable for you than us exchanging one person. Okay. Okay, I can do it. Okay, now, Flop, what'd you do to piss that guy off? Tommy? You mean the guy that I just hyped up and said he was fine? I don't fucking know. He was staring at you like you did something wrong. Well, I'm going to go confront them. He's We're texting going. you. Okay, let's go. We're doing go. this right now? Oh, wait, right here. Me. Okay. Oh, I was about to call Pixie. What? He's off the phone, though. I know which car over there is yours. Oh, that, that's it? It's the shoe brick, and you better believe it. I got the shit screamed out of me for just wearing the fucking sh the fucking jog suit by my yeah. dad. I hope you're. I, I, hope I your wear it. I wear it when I'm off duty, Tommy. Okay, dude. Are you going for dual citizenship? I am. Okay. Would you like to come with? Well, you know, if uh, if things don't work out, uh, hopefully, you know, the Russian embassy can. You know. Would you? Would you consider it treasonous to deliver stuff to the Russian embassy? What? I mean, they got to get their stuff somehow, right? Well, what stuff? Um, nothing illegal. <sighs> I 
brought him 200 bottles of vodka, 100 Cuban cigars. Uh, and yeah, that sounds uh, legal. Oh, I I gotta get you copium. I have copium in stock now. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get you copium. <clears throat> hey Norman again Hey, Norman. Hello again, Richard. I come with a proposal. Ooh, let me guess. You're going to try and figure a way out for everybody here without actually having to do anything. I'm going to tell you all no. You're going to be upset about it. Then I'm going to tell you to leave. Actually, no, you're... No, you're... Pretty, he's, pretty, he's pretty accurate on most of that. Most, but... N you're right. But you're I don't right. think right, I'm sorry. you... I don't think you might decline this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. We don't want to kill anybody. I'm sure you're already aware. Mm -hmm. I am, however, listening to what death said what you said which was that as long as long as people die someone answer peach and 311 please as long as people die He's that's okay. good right correct Now, as I'm understanding, neither the chicken man nor the highway man, the people you were supposed to be working with, are working with you at the minute. So, we have come into knowledge of someone who might be very valuable to death. Someone who has hurt and killed a lot of people. And perhaps we could bring them to you. To work with you. Go on. Given our occupations and resources, we believe that we could find and bring you Isaac. if I couldn't go and do that myself. Yes. You three took all that time, and that is what you came up with. 
you're going to hunt down Isaac and bring him back to me like he is a bargaining chip. No. We're going to convince Isaac to come and work with his long dead brother. There's a difference. You, you lot don't know the first thing about Isaac. And you expect him to turn up here and be fine with any of this. Not, not quite, but, but surely someone willing to hurt other people and kill other people would be far more valuable than a single oh. sacrifice from us. You think my brother a killer? Um, are you asking if I think your brother's a killer? Obviously. That is what you think of him. Yes. Given the information uh, available, I mean, we've had instructed he's not exactly a good guy. What inclination do you have that Isaac isn't a good guy just because his brother was a serial killer mm, not not quite no then what is it <clears throat> how about this Norman I think it's fair if we play our cards close to our chest I guess the question is is whether or not you would be open to replacing our end of the bargain i.e. killing somebody for you and replacing that with bringing your brother to you in the hopes that you two can work together There have been many people who have visited me at this place. There have been many who have called me name after name and have done their best to insult me. But this, this tops the cake. You have your deal. If you come back here mentioning Isaac, I will kill all three of you. Do you understand? <clears throat> I'm half tempted to do it now. Uh, you know, um, go back look at the and time. reconsider. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. <clears throat> That did not go according to plan. He does not like him. That was supposed to go a lot better than that. You gonna take your time swimming back this time? told you both it was a bad idea well it was the only idea but well, what was the alternative Damn it. murder no, you're right we tried a solution that was supposed to be good for all and it didn't work by good for all i mean who told you that he was a, a killer and stuff that person's in trouble now well someone said he was a bad guy 
the implication of a sword in there. Very, very thin ice. God damn it. <sighs> I need to pull Peach back. Why is she here? Who's at the gate? Who's not at the gate? That's the better question. Who is not at this fucking gate? Guys, I'm going home. What do you mean you're going home? Understandable. I'm going home. I need to sleep. This whole situation has got my blood pressure peaking. I'm so and I need sorry. To, I need to think on everything. Okay. Well, hear, hear me out. Who is? If that's Peach, she's come to pick me up. Okay. Right? You you're getting a ride from Peach. Oh my they God. Let, they let her. Peach in. means something. Come on, let's just do it. No. Oh, this so, could all be oh over God, right now. Please. <laughs> hey, Peach. <laughs> Hey, look, everybody's alive. I don't see what's a big deal. Come on, you're being so dramatic. <laughs> Peach, we could change that. <laughs> huh? No, no, no. Don't listen to him, okay, Peach? I said we could change that. Peach, how much do you care about me? Be honest. Oh, my God. Um, a lie. Okay. What about me? And you too. Dark? What? Yeah, joint too. Dark? No. Yeah. Peach, can you drop me off at the station? Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. I'll drop you off, alright. Peach, you wanna do you wanna go for a bit of a swim? Uh... No, come on, Peach. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Peach. Okay. Come on. What? Don't do anything stupid without me, you three, okay? It goes for you two, Andy. Okay, no, wait, hold on. The same goes to you. He's yelling at you. And you, yeah. Peach. Nothing stupid. That's impossible. You keep him safe. I know, which is why you should come with us. Just a little swim. Just Peach, have you ever been deep sea fishing or deep yeah. sea like diving? It's just a swim. Just a swim. 